My fingers still smell like tranny. <laughs> <laughs> you did oh, not, did no, you? No. Uh, no, no. How many different girls were you with since Wednesday? Um... I might have been one or two, not many, man, if any. <laughs> not many, I love that. <laughs> Dude, I'm done with I'm done I'm done whoring. I'm done with it. No, stop. I've heard you say that before. You sure? Right. What's well, different about this one? I wanna I don't know. I just I don't want to do it anymore. Right. He doesn't want to do it anymore. I'm sick of spending you the know, money. They never call me. I swear to god I expect them to call me sometimes. You do. Like, How you been? How yeah. you been? What the hookers that you pick up, you expect them to call <laughs> you? No, the ones the ones I write checks to. Some of them I write checks to. And one girl who I've actually hooked up with a couple of times, we've never had sex. But I uh, I wrote a check and she lost it and I have to reissue it. You know how awful that is to have Are to you rewrite a check to a hooker. To someone who, no, well, she's not she's not a hooker. I've never slept with her. Wait, well, what did she do for you? Um, a, a massage, just a regular massage. Um, you know, with the Yankee cranky. That, that's a regular massage. Yeah. No, it's not. Of course it is. That's a hooker. That's no. That, that's more uh, than a regular <laughs> massage. Oh, you silly I geese. Actually, cut it out, you. I actually go to a regular massage therapist from time to time. I'm not getting the happy endings. That's a regular massage. Why would you well, do that? Definition. Why? It's it's relaxing. I don't know. That would be Relief funny to send you into a regular masseuse. Yeah. Have him get the massage and go, hey, what, hey, hey, what are you forgetting here? Yeah, Come at on. the end, it's like, what a waste that was. I went to one in Jersey when I was still lived there. It was, Of course, it was an Asian place. It was open like 3 in the morning. So I go in, and she leaves the door open, and she actually covers me with a towel, and she gives me shiatsu, and I wanted to cut her throat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you war criminal? Get your fingers out of my back. <laughs> it was agonizing. Some people, you know, they, they like the regular massage with the uh, candles and the, the, the Kataro in the background, you know. Yeah, that's nice. It's all it nice leads up and to something. It's relaxing. It's it, it relieves stress. Ugh, not some alien expressionless face just <laughs> digging her rotten Western civilization hating fingers into your spine. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy bitch. I had my uh, lovely Thanksgiving yeah. with the family, and uh, the one thing I have to answer all the time is, is that Jim Norton for real? Yeah. <laughs> like does, the things he does. It is that real? Is he really doing that? I, I'm so tired of answering that one. The worst of was course. I, I met Anthony's mom again, and she's such a nice lady, and she's like, that's not real what you say, is it? And I'm yeah, like, no, 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 no. No, it's a bit. She's hoping against hope. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm just being it's silly. She can't imagine that someone's so nice, because Jimmy's very nice. That's what everyone people. says to me, too. They cannot believe it. They expect him to come up and, you know, pinch her ass or something. Yeah, yeah. Grab her crotch and go, how you doing, lady? <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> Try I, to pick her up like a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he's he's a nice guy. He comes up. He's very respectful. He's very nice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it just throws people off when they listen to this program and hear the They really don't want to believe that no, they like that. They don't want to they believe it. They don't want to believe it at all. And I don't do the lie thing. I'm just like, yes, everything he says <laughs> is the truth. He's disgusting horrid human being when i was in pittsburgh one time doing a gig i was online i found a massage ad for a girl and i actually drove probably about 25 minutes from the condo i was staying in and uh she was probably 300 pounds and i really think that there was something wrong with her mentally because she sat on the edge of the bed and she was rocking back and forth and she was opening and closing her hands in a weird clenching fashion as we spoke Big fat girl just kind of clenching her hands and rocking back and forth. Yeah, that's a little weird. And I gave her, I think, $60 and she blew me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. That's She's true. So you weren't concerned that she forth. was a little strange. No, I thought she, I'm not even kidding. I really didn't think she was crazy. She was like a fat, retarded girl. I gave her like 60 bucks for her. Oh, she listened to Madam Butterfly and turned the light on and off? No, no, no just, I don't remember what she did. I just remember it was awful yeah. and toothy. And you didn't was, say, hey, perhaps, you know, you should leave and... No, because I was already there. It was late. It was like 2 in the morning in Pittsburgh. I'm like, what else? You, how more depressing could this be? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Skipper. Hey, you're welcome. All Bye, right. Skipper. Please uh, please get a nickname, by the way, that suits somebody over the age of seven. Speaking of whores, Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist. <clears throat> I don't, wouldn't know about Craigslist anymore. I'm done with it. Uh-oh. What? Is this uh... No more whores, man. Oh, boy. Here no he more. goes. No more. This is sad when you say this because it, it looks like you're really trying. Wait, can you play the Hulk music? No, you're going to fail. I want to hear the Hulk music. <laughs> I'm in shock. <clears throat> Why? Let's get into this a little bit. Hulk music. You don't yeah. know where the Hulk music is? Well, I, I could find it, I think. <laughs> you sure? Look at all yeah. the pages you got there. I got pages and, and pages, pages of stuff. I know. I got the first three memorized, but... You really do, after huh? After that... Uh-oh. Oh, look at this uh -oh. young go-getter. There's a young man with a good build walking through. <laughs> <laughs> he does like, have a Clemens vibe to him. Oh, I got it. Never mind. You got it? Yeah. Boss has it. Ah, there it is. All right, Jimmy Norton. 
Yes. Confessing today on the Opie and Anthony show that he's done with Craigslist and whores. Yes. What happened? Nothing. I'm just wasting way too much money. And I'm realizing everyone I'm having sex with, I'm paying for. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> everyone. And, dude, it's awful. When was the last time you had sex that you didn't pay for? Probably this week, or last week, but I mean, let's say 90%. <laughs> Are you really swearing off of uh, I'm gonna try, man, yeah. I realize how much money I've been wasting. I swear to God, it bugged me, because like, I don't hear from these girls ever. Not that I expect a love connection, but it's what? like... Wait, well, you're you being hear? serious? They're, they're paid yeah. for whores. Yeah, but I figured that they would like want to come over, even though I'd have to pay for them. Oh no, my no, God. You know, even though I'd have to pay them. Yeah, that's crazy, too. Yeah, no. So I'm like done with it. I'm sick of these dumb bitches. I'm confused. They come Why? over and do their thing, and you pay them, but you expect a little more after they're gone, like a little phone call or maybe no, a little no, email. No, 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 not uh, not an off the clock thing. No, no, I don't want a relationship, but just like that they would call and go, "Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Let me come over for money, not for free." I, I don't think they work that way. They, well, you know, well, uh, I guess like well. the deli guy saying, so "You're hoping that, that on your door. <laughs> would you like a sandwich?" You're hoping, even though you pay for the sex, that they thought you were so cool and had a nice personality or something that they're calling to see if they yeah, can come back. Yeah, or just yeah, exactly. Oh, Although, boy. Let, let me add, oh, let me boy. let me just. Are you being Anthony? serious? Yeah, let me correct Anthony's example. When the deli guy takes a dump on your chest, then it kind of makes things a little more intimate. If he drops <laughs> one of his logs into the deli slicer and serves it to you. <laughs> Right, right. You have a log on wheat. I didn't think about that. <laughs> so you really think you're a zero because the the women aren't calling you well, to I ask if they could come over so you can pay zero. them for sex. Not, it's not even that. It just annoys me. It's not like I'm like depressed about. It. I'm annoyed at myself. Like, what do you do? Why would you even call this? This pig could call you back at least and say, "Let me come over," even if it's just for money. Cause I'm an easy trick. I'm an easy trick. How much yeah, money do you spend on hookers a year? I don't know. I, I, I think you've been lowballing a little bit. Probably, but I haven't. I haven't even thought about it. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to know. You once said twenty thousand on the show a year. Oh, did I really? Yeah. Well, that was that a you... wonderful understatement. <laughs> really? Well, the, yeah. Of course. It's more than twenty thousand a year. Maybe not every year. No, it's been a lot this year. Jimmy's one of these guys that everything he's involved in that gives him any little ounce of pleasure becomes an addiction. That he then has to spend time and effort breaking yeah. at some point in his life. Anything that seems to give you enjoyment becomes an addiction. And I just ruin it. And you wreck it. And then it has to be stopped. Everything. You can't, you can't dabble in something. You're an all or nothing kind of guy. Yeah, just an addicted sociopath. But it's like, <laughs> once in a while you want to go on nice dates and have, you know, I mean, I've been single for a while. So, like, once in a while you want to go on, like, a regular date and have a nice chick. And, you know, it's yeah. like, ugh, I'm such a perv. I'm annoyed with myself. I'm yeah, whacking you, off you, and I'm not horny. It's like, what am I doing? And you bring that into relationships with, with girls. Is, is You bring that, the fact that you're a pervert. <laughs> well, no, I'm, not, I'm all right with women. I kind of respect their boundaries and stuff. But I kind of want it immediately. Like, if I go on a date... You know, and the mule isn't in the mouth. Well, there goes the end of that potential relationship. Yeah, but that's not what it's about. Right. That's not what a relationship that I think you you seem to want. I don't know if you're looking for it or anything, but it seems that you want something more than just paying for whores to yeah. come over. But you don't want to do anything that has to do with a real relationship, like oh. not getting the hog in your mouth in the first yeah, five like minutes. Yeah, putting in the time. But I, I'm weird with girls. I have crushes. If I like a girl, I have a crush on her, and then I'm like, it's hard for me to be sexual with her. You know, I have that whole complex where I can't be a pig with someone I really see. I right. got I got this thing when I uh, when I see a girl, you know, the first time if she has sex with me, I get really bummed out. Actually, I mean, the sex will, pro you know, most likely was good and stuff. But then I'm thinking, oh man, she's a you know, she's a whore. Nah, like, I don't, like mm. you know, when I see someone new and they they don't, you know, we don't we don't have sex the first date. That rocks. Mm -hmm. And I'll, you're disappointed if you don't get sex on the first no, date with no, somebody no, no. like? It, it's got to be organic. If someone's holding out on me just to hold out, it's like, all right, fucking Mae West, beat it with that <laughs> 1940s attitude. It irritates me. Uh, you showed me. <laughs> out. <laughs> so but if it's just not organically happening, that's fine. So how many days uh, without sex? Oh, I don't know. Without hooker sex? I, I would actually have to stop and think about it. It all becomes like one long blur. Wow. One. That's that's awful. never good when no. anything becomes at one long one blur. One awful blur. Well, so I don't even know. We got a people, a uh, couple people with comments. Kurt from Jersey, what's up, Kurt? Hey, O and A. Hey. Hey, little Jimmy. How are you, Kurt? Hey, listen, I, I don't think you want to give up your addiction. I just think you need maybe whores with a better sales department. Yeah, maybe that's true. Or, or a prostitute who can who can pull off a little acting once in a while with a phone. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I'm not looking for I'm not looking for freebies, and I'm not deluded into thinking that there's any real love between me no. and this girl. I don't mean it like that. It's okay. like when Amex calls every so often. <laughs> hey, it. how you doing? It's American Express. We have this new card yes. that's available to you, and it's like I've been using Amex for a while. That's nice that they would call. Yep, absolutely. That's what Jimmy's looking for. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Frankie in New York. Hey, Boo Boo, how are you? Hi, Cuddles. I'm sad. Boo -boo. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, did you leave the horse because they didn't make you dinner and tuck you in and do the laundry and. No, they don't you know, have to do all the things. At the end of the night. No, no, I don't need all of that intimacy. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not deluded about what it is, but. But they're whores. They're not wives. You know what I mean? You pay them, and then they go about their merry way. That's the beauty of it. No, you, wants, you're right. Jim wants a girl, whether he pays for it or not, to just be interested in him. Yes, in some, in some level. Them. What's that? To get a girlfriend. Stop paying them then. This yeah, they come back because they don't feel like uh, dirty pieces of trash. No, you're, I, I, I know technically you're right, but it's just like I kind of want a girlfriend. I kind of want that. I was going to uh, say, I hang out with Jim a lot. He definitely wants a girlfriend. You think so? All oh, right. yeah. All right, boo boo. Punching out. You guys rock. Bye, All right. fella. All right. Uh, here's a guy that fell in love with a hooker. How do you do oh, that? Man. I definitely I can see how you can do that. Rock really? bottom, oh, yeah. uh, the trucker. What's up, rock bottom? What's up, fellas? How are you, buddy? How's my phone sound? All right. Yeah, uh, it's marginal, but working. Yeah, we'll go with it for a little while. Go ahead. True. No, I just want to tell Jimmy Norton there that, um, you know, I'm out here trucking all the time, and I run into whores all the time, and I guess I'm a little bit of a player. I just ran into a whore. I mean, I'm not, man. So uh, I know it's a fucked up situation because I think about it, and it's like, damn, she's a whore, but... I mean, she calls me all the time, and she's telling me she loves me, and we hook up, and I don't have to pay her, and... Mm. I guess it's a cool situation, you know what I'm saying? So there is hope out there, Jimmy Norton. Wait, so she's not playing you? She really says you can now have sex with me and you don't have to pay me anymore because I'm into you too? Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? She calls me and tells me where she, you know, if she's going to be up here, down there, wherever. And uh, yeah. is she still banging other guys, though? No, well, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? We hang yeah. out all night. She kicks it in my truck. You know, we just chill all night too. I got to leave or she got to leave and you know what I'm saying? Wait, That's so it. you've definitely fallen in love with her? Shit. Uh, uh, man, it's been like since, uh, shit, like six years I've, you know, been in love and I think, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it, you know? All right, you're so. feeling it, but uh, in the back of your head you're thinking, oh my God, when yeah. she's not with me, she's still doing uh, her hooking, right? Well, she, she still got to make her bread, you know what I'm saying? Just like I got to keep on trucking and, and make my money, She, you know? How much I'm does that... doing that, so she needs to keep on making her money, you know? How much does that bother you, though? Oh, yeah, of course, deep down inside, it bothers me, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like she's my woman, like my wife, and I could tell her, hey, look, I don't want you fucking around with nobody else, you know? She's doing what she's doing, I guess. You know, if things really do, you know, work out the way they're supposed to, then she'll give it up. And she says that she's willing to give it up once we get established and shit gets, you know, yeah. established. the way it's supposed to be. But yeah, no doubt, in the back of my head, I am thinking, damn, she is a whore, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I mean, it, it, is, a, it is a fucked up situation because I'm a young cat, and I go clubbing a lot, and I party, you know what I'm saying? And I meet a lot, a lot of girls going to the clubs, and out here... Fucking around with all the hoes and at the truck stops, fucking around with the girls in the field desk or whatever. I mean, I ran through a whole bunch of girls and, man, it just clicked. It just clicked between us, you know? And unfortunately, she's a fucking slutty whore, but, I mean, the sex is fucking awesome. But I, I love her, man. That. Of course the sex is off and she's a professional. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. All right. But I... I mean, uh, oh, he's still I gone. fuck yeah, her so no. good that I make her bust the nut every time, so I guess that's another reason why she fell in love, so. All right. <laughs> up, up. Your, your time is up. Trucker's time is yeah. up. Thank you, Rock Bottom. I was thinking we need something to, to cut like, the truckers off. Give them the old horn. I was thinking maybe we bring back the Academy Award music. Oh, that would be good. We need that, yeah. we need. You some, truckers, uh, I got to say it again. You guys love to talk when you call this program. They will just... Because that's nothing for him. Yeah, that was just a, that know, was just a quick little chit-chat. Relative chit -chat. to truckers, that's like no, that's nothing. nothing. They're used to miles and miles going by, and they're still on the, the horn. Um, all right, uh, Pat, another, a lot of truckers checking in today. Pat, let's go, buddy. Hey, all right, I promise I'll keep it short. I just wanted to point out to Jimmy that even at 20 grand a year... His hookers are still cheaper than my ex-wife. 
You know what? It's it's not that's it's not really even a money issue with me because I'm a single guy. I, I don't spend that much on it, but you can you can waste a lot more buying a car to impress a chick. We've talked about that, so yeah, I know what you're saying. I agree with you. But this, this girl did everything that I, that I wanted. She did stuff, some of the stuff you're into, and she just turned into the eternal money that I'll be paying off for 20 years. You're better off the way it is. Yeah, maybe. I no. just I miss certain parts of relationships, though. There's certain things I do miss. Uh, you know, there's certain nice things you like. It's like, all right, I've gotten late enough in my life. Sometimes you miss, and I'm too open about it. I know that's my you problem want, with chicks. I'm very want, open about it. You're like everyone else. You want a girl to like you for you. And because you're paying for it, you know they're not there for yeah. you. But it's also, I, I, I write on my blog, you know, all this stuff I put, and it's like, ugh. I mean, that makes it hard for Bob Kelly's time. He's like, what do you expect, dude? Look at this stuff you tell people. I'm like, yeah, it's a point well taken. <laughs> but you can't stop. I will not never stop. No, I'm going to not be funny just, just to get laid. I can't do that's that either. That's how you are. All right, let's uh, say hi to Todd. Hey, Todd. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Welcome back. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, I met this guy who's a truck driver out of Florida. He married a hooker out of a truck stop. He married a hooker? Hooker from a truck he stop? A hooker wow. out of a truck stop. A lounge lizard? No, what are they called? Uh, lot lizard. A lot, lot lizard. lizard. A lot yep. lizard? Yep. That's crazy. But it's uh, moving to Delaware and everything. Because in the back of your mind, you, I mean, guys in general wonder. And and can you imagine? You married a hooker. You got to be lizard. You got to be thinking, Whoa. what is she doing while I'm trying to make a living? Yeah, that's just crazy as hell. All right. All right. I mean, they are people. You can fall in love with a, a, a call girl or whatever, but it's just like the, most of the times they're not willing to get out of the business. Mm. Have you done that, Jimmy? <laughs> no, but fallen for one of those. Never. Uh, did, I never COVID. have. I. Nah, I can think of a couple over the, like, even recent history that I really like, though, like, oh. But but the problem is they're such dummies, some of these girls. Yeah. It's like, do you understand what a sap I am? If you had just, if you a bitch had taken one acting lesson, you could have ruined me. Oh, right, oh. right. Yeah, they're just too stupid to know <laughs> that they have a fish on the hook. self-centered idiot. <laughs> that's if you, hilarious. You have no idea how what, close you were. What, oh. what acted? That's really funny. Really, if you just had just a little interest that wasn't, if you didn't just ask for the check immediately <clears throat> and get out of Dodge. Could have been so much more. Superficial hole. Drained your bank account. Oh, bye bye <laughs> bye bye comma. Move the comma this way. <laughs> bye bye Jake, what's going on? Hey, man. Good morning to y'all. Good morning. You guys are killing me. Every truck driver you put on here is like some freaking rube from Alabama. Are you a driver? Are you a truck driver? I'm a truck driver. All right. I, I catch a shower every day. I don't fuck whores. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm dumbfounded. I mean, I know them guys are out here, man, but all of us. Right. In general, most of you guys are just average guys uh, making a living? Yeah, we don't even have southern accents. Amazing. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> oh, and he kept it short. I don't believe he was a truck driver. Yeah, I think he was uh, just a business guy from Long Island going to work. Jimmy, how uh, is it? Is it th that you're getting a little older, and you're starting to think, you know, what it might be like to live your lifestyle as you get older and stay in it and. Nah, it's like I don't know, man. Occasionally, you meet girls that you like, like just people I I know. It's like uh. And I've had a few where it's like I kind of liked them, and it's like they they it just wasn't returned. Like every every guy has, every person has that. So it's almost like I could kind of, I want to kind of have like a nice thing once in a while. I go out to eat. It's like I don't want to yeah. just get a load. It's like, ugh. Can just be a degenerate all the time. Yeah, man. I'm not you know I'm not particularly needy when it comes to that stuff. I've been single for a while. I know I could find a relationship, but mm -hmm. it's like you know I get bored quick. It's always got to be funny. They got to be smart. You know what I mean? Otherwise, yeah. Ugh, who wants to lay in bed with some dummy and talk Sit to her? Sit there and listen to just babble. Yeah. Um, Fast Freddy did some math from Jamaica Station. Seven times a week, which you're not paying for horse seven times no, a week. No, I'm not. You're at least three times. Okay, we'll go with three. Times 150? Yeah, we could do that. He did the math problem. Seven times 150 is $850 a week, which will bring you up to $45,900 a year. Okay, yeah, that's too hookers. much. Too much. But you're about three, three and a half maybe? Because that would... Hard to say, because some of them are more than 150 Oh, poor Jimmy. Look at Jimmy. Oh, whatever. Today. It's my own doing. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. It's my own doing. Uh, speaking of Craigslist, yeah, we saw this in the paper today. Pete. Hey. Uh, I was thinking Jimmy could uh, use Craigslist and find a nice girl that needs a kidney for a dying brother. That's true. I'll trade your. I'll, I'll trade you my kidney for your box. Yeah. No? <laughs> uh, uh, How about uh, poor Neil Diamond? It's in the paper today. Yeah. What the hell is that? His name is Neil, Neil Diamond. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who saw that coming? I, that's... It's, uh, yeah, Debbie Diamond placed an ad. 
uh, on Craigslist looking for a kidney for her ailing big brother, Neil Diamond. Wow. Now, let me ask you something about Craigslist. My kidney's like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I can urinate. <laughs> Damn. So is Craigslist mostly sex stuff, or is it? No. It's everything? Yeah, it's actually a really cool site. You go to every city, has it. Um, they have like apartments, everything you could possibly use. Erotic stuff is one part of it, but that's maybe ten percent of it. Mm. Blood, I've been pissing out blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy, Neil Diamond, uh, type A blood, needs a match. Went to a Craigslist. Yeah, I thought I I just knew Craigslist from Jim. I just know it as a place you go to get whores. But this is everything, huh? Someone could maybe help me out. They made it illegal to sell your kidneys or something because there were people in, like, uh, poor countries that... God, they did a story. What the hell was it on? 2020 or something where, a, uh, a, like, a college girl or something gave up one of her kidneys and the family ended up taking care of it for the rest of her life or uh, or paid for her schooling or something. And they were able to do it, you know, because supposedly it's illegal, like yeah. really illegal, because people are willing to give up one of their kidneys because you could live off one uh, to make a lot of money. How much for a kidney? I don't know. Maybe someone could help me out if they saw this special. But then the, this one family, they found a loophole, and they found this uh, this woman that wa wanted to be a donor willingly. She, she wasn't mentally unstable or nothing, but she was, you know, in financial problems, and she wanted to go to school or something like that. And this family ended up paying for everything. For her, all her living expenses and and uh, you know and allowed her to go to school, but just didn't give her money. Yeah, yeah, they were able to do it in right. a way where it wasn't illegal. But supposedly this is really, really popular that people are more than willing to give up one kidney for financial, uh, uh, you know, happiness or whatever. Yeah, you got two. Why not? Right. If you're broke, that's a go-getter. Yeah. Jimmy's lying. He's never quitting. Dave in Indianapolis. Hey, you really, hey, you really brought on, the guys? show down with your. I didn't. We just chatting with your confession, Dave. What's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, hey uh, check this out. There's no way that uh, Jimmy's going to stop at his horse because uh, I'm 21 right now and I'm spending at least 200 months on strippers. And uh, is, all right, is why it, are you spending money on strippers? On strippers. Is, is, as a fellow uh, fat-breasted, meaty nothing, uh, let but, me tell you. But you're not getting anything from the strippers. Sesame Street is hotter than strippers <laughs> are. They do nothing. Those lame hair over the crotch moves, uh, a stupid ass on your knee. I beat it, bitch. Yeah, yeah what are you getting for your $200? Uh, I'm getting about three minutes of uh, her rubbing on my cock. It stinks. Why are you doing And Is that some kind of thing that gets you off when you, uh, when you no, go home? No, no. He doesn't no, want to make I'm the just, commitment. Uh, I'm just a shy character. Dude, he doesn't just, want to make the commitment. Why don't commitment. you spend that money on a hooker? Absolutely. You know what? I I really need to. You know, they don't have hookers out here. I yes, they have. Dude, well, you, find a girl who's done so many drugs that part, some of her teeth are falling out. That's the type of girl who will take money to do anything. I, I don't want the hiv, uh, Jim. No, you don't have to get the hiv. I don't want it either. <laughs> but if you get it, at least, you know, laugh about it with your friends. Yeah, tell me you don't have it already. <laughs> Completely disease free, bro. So what is it? Two hundred dollars a week? No, 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 a month. Oh, a month. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not making cash. So you you save up your money and then you go to the strip club so she can rub up against your 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 groin for a few it, minutes for one is, song. There's nothing better than that. And my my whole point here is that uh, Jim, you're not going to stop, man. I, I I I don't think that's a very pick me up attitude. There is there is no way, Jim. You're going to be on here next week. You're going to say how you how you bang some. Yeah, you got to confess when it happens. I always tell three, the truth. Three hundred pound whore. So you got from Craigslist. I know you're going to be back, Jim. I don't even think you'll make the week. I'll I hate, make the week. I hate to, you Wait, know, I'll make I hate, the week. and I'm not even trying to do a radio. I, 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 I don't week. think you'll make really? Friday. So, you know, I'll, I'll put a dollar on saying he'll do it before he goes to sleep today. All right. Well, it's, what is this, trading places with your awful dollar bet? <laughs> you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's your job as the listener to help us out with some of these things. So, you know, let a few days go by and then remind us and we'll get an update on this. If, if you remember, Jimmy quit smoking in one day. He just stopped. He dropped it, and that was it. I'll tell you what made me stop. We all know the show that made me stop. Oh, what yeah. really convinced me was... Wait, 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 wait. They don't know, because a lot oh. of new listeners out there. We did a show called uh, What the Hell is That? What the Hell is That? And we invited... Like, we got to do this again, by the way. Uh, we invited two or three doctors in, and then people that had these weird things, they don't know what, what it was, they would come in, and they would get diagnosed live on our mm -hmm. show. One guy had a rotting cornea that was diagnosed on our show and was basically told he's going to be blind. Nice. I'm trying to remember a lot of the other ones. I mean, they were just horrific. Remember the one guy that uh, 
would sweat profusely only on one half of his face. One half of his face, yeah, and, yeah, that and, was and weird. It, and it only it happened when he ate what hot spicy foods or something like that. But he only sweated on one half. And they basically said that's really, really, really bad. I forgot what they diagnosed him as, as having some kind of cancer or some kind of something. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember. But then we got him, we got him some chicken wings, and sure enough, one half of his face was just completely drenched in sweat, yeah. and the other side was completely dry. Maybe he's half Asian. So then, uh, <laughs> so then this guy was listening to the radio show, and he decided to just walk in from the street. We didn't even know the guy, he, you know. He goes, you know, I got something I want to, you know, I want the doctors to take a look at it. And what was it? Was it on his tongue? It was. It was on, on his gum. His gum, right on inside gum. of his gum, or yeah, okay. yeah, a, a white bump, a white bump on his uh, gum. Yeah. So the you know believe it or not the show is done kind of lightheartedly and we're all kind of laughing in general you know because in general most of these guys had curable stuff I guess Didn't we have three doctors in yeah three doctors so so they're like oh let's take a look and they open up his mouth and they they got the flashlight and they look in the looks on the doctors faces oh, yeah. and we're trying to do a radio show they all looked at what was going on in this guy's mouth then looked at Ant and I like oh my god oh boy this is why we didn't want to do this we were hoping we wouldn't see this they were horrified one guy's like i'm out i don't even want to talk about it anymore yeah the doctors and, are conferring with each other and then uh the one doctor is in the corner just whispering the big c the yeah. big c and then now the guy he's feeling that something's not right and he starts freaking out and he goes oh god just tell me what it is <laughs> remember his and he goes uh, 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 his panic yeah his fighting to hold on to control and going all right where should i go what, what just, uh, how do i take care of this where, who should i see yeah who can i see the now? questions right oh, that thinking he horrific. had mouth cancer and i watched this and i'm like that is what it looks like when you find out you have mouth cancer uh, that's the reaction you have yeah and i said uh i gotta stop enough i'm not gonna smoke again yeah and uh i'm like i'm done so, so we took a break you you uh, i remember you smoked one last cigarette i said i'm gonna have one more parliament and i was i was like i'll finish this pack and anthony goes i want you just fucking quit <laughs> i'm like all right point taken did he really say oh that yeah again? he did with complete disgust <laughs> if i if i said hey Ant, i want to pull your zipper down i want to toot on that for a minute his reaction couldn't have been more <laughs> revolted but i said he just was so like just fucking quit I and forgot I, that you used to be a heavy smoker. Oh my yeah. god! When we first met you, I forgot all about that. We couldn't even do a radio show. One you of were his only vices. You were always just smoking in between uh, yep. breaks. And remember how bad a Nick fits you had when you were in jail with Lewis on oh the Voyeur bus? Dude, yeah. Was, all the guys said Jim was going crazy. Was, yeah, was, I was. Yeah, I was out yep. of my mind. I had one more cigarette that day, and I went down to the comedy cellar. SD got me the patch, whatever, and that was it. It was the last cigarette I smoked. That's a while now. That's yeah, like... I still have urges occasionally. But anyone who's quit smoking knows. I yeah, mean, you, you know, get the urge, but, but is that, that's close to it. three years ago now. December will be three years. Right? See, and he was able to do that. So I, but the whores, that's a different thing. Booze and drugs. Booze and drugs. You know what it is? But this is more mental health than physical health that you yeah. were that not you're worried about, but that you know, it's kind of the physical health thing. You could quit something and go, all right, I'm 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 quitting it because I, I want to be physically healthy. Right, 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 right. The mental health thing is like, I could deal with it. Yeah, you're right. Screw it. Call up, get another whore. All right, we got some info, I think, on the kidney thing. Uh, a couple calls here. Ron in Jersey. What's up, Ron? Yo, o &A, what's up, guys? Hey. Yo, uh, that was either on 2020 on 60 Minutes. Um, what I saw was people in India were giving their organs up to repay their family debt. Okay, well, the, the story I saw was definitely in America, where they got this oh, okay. college-age girl to donate a kidney to save, uh, I think, the husband or something. This goes back a while, but they're doing it in India. Yeah, same thing. Like, I don't know if anybody, I don't know if Norton or anybody out there smoke like these... Uh, these crazy Indian cigarettes, like they said, he tastes like all kinds of fruit flavors and stuff like that. They showed this too, where like you may a family may loan you say two thousand dollars, and these people and then their families and their kids had to like roll these cigarettes like all day. And like and when when they figured out the transactions, like these people would never repay their debts; they'd be just rolling friggin' cigarettes all day. Hmm. So and it's a fucked up country, man. All right. Well, thank you, Ron. Let's say hi to David in Jersey. He might have some more info on the kidney thing. What's up, Dave? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, sweetie. Hey. Don't feel so bad about Craigslist. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll be fine. Thank you, though. I tried it, too. It sucks shit. Um, about the kidneys, I think the going rate was 20 grand. And the uh, second problem was that 
uh, in the third world countries, uh, they were kidnapping people, chopping them up, and selling their body parts in the black market. The black uh, market. The famous black market. Where is the black market? market. Uh, yeah. yeah. I oh, love God, that I one. Cool. I love that one. The black market. That's a uh, hey, true story, man. Yeah. Guy uh, got a hooker, and uh, you know had sex with her and stuff, and then uh, uh, passed out. He woke up the next morning. He was in a bathtub full of ice. I know this because this was like a friend of uh, my brother-in-law. I mm -hmm. uh, woke up in a, a, a bathtub full of ice, and uh, he, there was blood in there and stuff. And, and he had a note that said, "Get to the hospital immediately." So he kind of, kind of dragged himself out of the tub, and he didn't feel good, and he, he was bleeding. Uh, and he went to the hospital, and when he got there, the doctor told him, oh, my God, your kidney's been cut out. And, uh, you know, apparently there was a gang going around, and they were doing this, and he, taking people's <laughs> kidney and selling them on the black market. Don't laugh. At, it's true. It just reminds me of what happened to a friend of mine. Oh. A friend of mine uh, who had a friend, actually. Yeah. yeah, friend of a friend? Yeah, he was... Um, he liked scuba diving. Uh huh. And he was just minding his own business, checking out the tropical fish and stuff, yeah. right? And uh, and I guess there was a fire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, on land somewhere. And uh, right, you know those big seaplanes that oh oh that drop the water that scoop. Uh, no, you know who this is because oh, yeah. I know the guy too. Yeah, no, I know this guy. So uh, you know they're uh, wow they're they're putting out the fire with the the water as yeah, they're scooping yeah. it out. Oh, I know the story. Fly I know, over the I know the guy. fire and they drop the water yeah. and, and it, it, it usually does the job and. Uh, you know, puts out some of these uh, forest, forest fires, and yeah, yeah. and then uh, you know they 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 checked out the area where the fire was, and they find this um this guy in complete scuba gear, scuba gear, and not, not burned. burned. Yeah, not, that no, was the see, thing. Oh, See, yeah, I know, you that, do know the guy. Well, I, yeah. know, I know the guy. And I guess what happened was when the planes were scooping out the water, they actually scooped uh, scooped them right up and dropped them and dropped on them the on fire, the fire yeah. with the water. So yeah. yeah, so I believe this stuff. Oh sure, sure, yeah. it's got to be true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> Ah, my kidney turned blue. <laughs> now you know I need one. <laughs> huh? Yeah, anything? Chris, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hello, sweetheart. Jimmy. Hi, fella. <laughs> I have two things to say now, but the first thing was you broke up that show where you had the doctors in. Yeah. yeah. I quit I quit the exact same day, and the way I figure it now is that I'm paying two bucks a month, but I still owe you a boatload of money because... I'm saving like six bucks a day on smokes. You're right. That's so right. I don't mind the extra two bucks, so I'm getting some people to sign up. Well, man, cigarettes are up to what? Like seven, eight bucks uh, now? Yeah. Well, Something yeah, like in that? the city, but yeah, you can get them about six bucks, you know? It's crazy. But, uh, the other thing, a friend of mine, you know, this was a weird thing, and this pertains to Jimmy, too. Paid for a hooker, you know, had a good night, uh, passed out, woke up the next morning, and on the mirror was written in lipstick, Welcome to the World of AIDS. Yeah. Uh, I, that was a good friend of mine, yeah, that happened to, too. I remember reading about that in the paper. Yeah, 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 that was a friend of my brother-in-law's sister's cousin's roommate. I think I read so, that yeah. in uh, The Plains Dealer, actually. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think it was out of Cleveland, Anthony. Very good. I, very, yeah, very nice. Epidemic. I Take had care, a, guys. I had, right. had, it's funny, I had a, I, I know a friend of mine who got a hooker, and when he fell asleep... The kid, the lady's son came in and wrote red rum on the mirror <laughs> <laughs> and had a little boy who lived in his mouth. Charlie! Yeah, I kind of remember Hello. that. Hey, what's up, Charlie? No, listen, I, 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 get, I, I know how you can get Jimmy to quit using hookers. No. Uh, like you do with the doctors, all you got to do is have a guy come in with lumps on his dick and shit. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he gives himself a little laugh. Lumps on his dick and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see some guy's lumpy mule, sir. That's all I need to do now is switch addictions. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> one more. One more. We got to take a break. Tim in Staten Island. What's uh, up, Tim? Yeah, what's going on, guys? This one, what you know, when I was younger, I had a little friend. He wanted me to go to the porch. He told me, welcome to the world of Monster Aid. I'm punching out later. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Welcome to the world <laughs> of Monster Aid. <laughs> uh, I remember that one, welcome to the world of AIDS. Yeah. Oh, this is funny. Matt in Jersey. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, I was out in Arizona with my girlfriend, and I screwed up my back, so she decided to take me to the spa for, like, a haircut and massage. The massage guy was named Chris. And Chris. as soon as I found out it was a guy, I fell out of the suite and just ran with the towels to my waist. My girlfriend wouldn't talk to me because they still made me pay money for the massage. Why would you want a massage from a guy if you're I, a guy? I disagree. I didn't know it was a guy oh. because they Wait, why do you disagree? Because it's, it's a massage. If you get a massage, it really, I mean, look, I'm a complete piece of garbage, but most people, massage is not a sexual thing. Yeah. It's like most sports massages. I'm still saying, I'm not looking at it as a, as a yeah, sexual thing. Yeah, I can't. Thing. Look, I'm really not. But if a woman does a massage to me, 
There's no way. I'm such an addict. I can't look at it sexually. Oh, I got you. You understand what I mean? Like if a guy, if an older guy, like a 50 year old guy, is doing it, then you just you just getting your muscles done. No way. Done. I can't. I, I get massages, and they always ask, you know, um, man or woman. I'm always woman. I would because I, I can't relax if a guy's touching I me. I cannot relax. Even if I don't. Th even if all. it's you know, it's, it's not a sex thing. I can't relax. But if a woman is doing it, it's gonna be a sex thing. I'm incapable. It's like having a drink, uh, you know, in front of an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if a girl's massaging you. You're thinking uh, at least rolling over and having her touch you. Oh my, yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. Tickle the old taint. I want to go to a spa. I've never been to a spa and, and had like the stuff put on me. I'm going to try that one time. Yeah. Try to be a normal person. Since I'm not wasting you. my money on whores, I'm oh. going to be a nice, normal guy. Now you got enough for a $130 haircut. And one of my be. gals called me last night, and I didn't ask her to come over. I was very proud of myself. Oh, she did call you, though. One of them did. She's like, I haven't heard from you. I yeah, she's you probably okay. fucking starving with you uh, off the uh, believe off me. the whores. Absolutely. Please, Jimmy, one, one blowjob. <laughs> The uh, prostitute union has been calling me, going, "Look, the rates have been too high." Well, uh, <laughs> the stock is crashing on hookers. Yeah. I hate these underwear. My if my fucking mule pops out. I'm so I'm not even trying to be dirty. It's just gross. Just wants to come out and say hi. Yeah. Hi, Jim Norton. How are you? Good. Tired, but all right. You tired? Did you do work last night? Uh, yeah. Do some spot. Uh -oh. Yeah, did a spot. No, I'm fine. I just did a spot. No, I'm home. thinking about the whore thing. What? No, what, no. I uh, I called two. Oh, and I didn't boy. leave a message for either, and I just hung up. I panicked. You panicked? Yeah, I was close last night. I was, I was in bad shape. I yeah, if uh, this is the first day of listening to the new Opie and Anthony show, um, Norton is swearing off whoring. How many days have you? About a, probably a week, something like that. Without how much money you've saved I, already. I, I know, I know. Wow. So I, I was actually on, I went on Craigslist a little bit, and I peeked around. I told uh, you you wouldn't make uh, the week. Yeah. And it looks like you're going to make it now. Oh, well, no, you got you got the weekend, though, bro. Weekends are fine. I don't do them on really... Well, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> it shouldn't be that bad on weekends. But you made two calls, so you were feeling the itch. Oh, yeah. Dude, in the last couple of days, I made a few calls, and uh, I just got lucky, and neither one of them answered the Why phone. are you trolling the websites knowing it's going to just tempt you? Because I put in certain keywords to look for... Like, I, I hit a keyword, and I look it up just to see if I can find a girl with certain things I want. Certain attributes. Yeah, and if I don't see any ads with the keyword come up, I just, I just sign off and go look for uh, an apartment. Oh. Yeah, it's oh, disgusting. Yes. Sociopathic You shouldn't behavior. tempt yourself like that if you're trying to swear off the horse. I know, I know. I know. Now, what are you going to do for sex? It's um, one thing to swear off the horse, but you got to subsidize your sex somehow. Yeah, I know. Therein lies the problem. I mean, this wasn't a choice. Like, oh, this is fun to do. This was not a basic necessity. I wasn't getting laid, so I'm spending money. Yeah, you're going to have to now get a girl <sighs> that you have to probably treat like a... Like a lady. Like a lady. It's, uh, you might actually have to go out on a date. Yeah. I wouldn't. I went on a date recently. And it was you might okay. have to go out to dinner and buy her maybe some flowers or something. What's Jimmy <laughs> Norton date like? Um, They're awful. Dates with me stink. It's like, do you want to come? I got to do a spot, so we'll eat I've, something. But uh, that's kind of cool to be a uh, comic. You know and, what? You know. I've gone on a double date with uh, Norton a couple times. He's a completely different person. He's a yeah. He's a complete gentleman. He's charming. He's actually charming. You gotta women, be nice. Women do fall in love with him when they see like the uh, Norton outside this atmosphere. Yeah, they think he's adorable. Yeah, you can't be completely honest. Um, we, there's a couple of other girls that were standing in line. One of the girls didn't realize that she didn't have to stand in line. She's one of the um, ladies who will be entertaining us tonight with the cherry darts. So uh, we pulled her out of line. She was standing in line, had no idea her name uh, Candy. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's, yeah. she's She was the one that's going to be uh, the target, and she was waiting on line. Well, she's dumb yeah, and she's blonde, she was, I mean. She's, uh, she was out there smoking, and I, and I said, uh, are you here to participate? She goes, no, no, I, I'm the target. So I said, oh, you don't have to stand in line. So um, Johnny from the Hard Rock is um, keeping her company over on the side there. Why, why don't you and, announce to the crowd that that's the target and see what they say? Oh, yeah. The what, I'm sorry? Why don't you announce to the crowd that uh, that's the target and point to her and see what they say? Okay. Hey, everybody. I know you're all ready. It's cold. But when you come inside, the lucky ones who get picked, this young lady right here is the target. This is who you'll be doing the cherry dart for. What do you think of her? Uh -oh. What do you think uh -oh. of her, man? Yeah, that bitch rocks. <laughs> yeah, that bitch rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Slow talking son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone's going nuts now. They're trying to get a look at her. All right, she's, good. She's waving, and then I'm, you know, there's a lot of paperwork that you have to fill out just, just to enter the studio these days. I don't know why. And Master Poe takes it very seriously. We do a credit check on people. I see one of the porn stars who's very lovely, very blonde, very hot. 
and she's got a pen in her hand and all the paperwork in front of her. I'm not lying. She's looking around for help. Yeah. She's looking around. There, she's oh, waving at us now. No. She's looking around for help like, um, what does that mean? Well, that's your birth name. <laughs> what is Philin, Philin Name? <laughs> right. She's having trouble. Name. She has... So what's going on with one of the porn stars? She wants to blow a midget she, or here's something? Here's the thing. Uh, Candy, she's very attractive. She has a weird... Joe Gallant, the director, is telling me that, that, that she's going to do a porn she wants to do with midgets. She has like a real midget fetish. A midget fetish. And, well, um, we have a midget fetish on this show, and, so I think we could get together on this and one. She really wants to do a midget. Really? And I was thinking, I don't know if I should... My idea was how fantastic that would be to have in studio. Yes. To have her perform... Whatever type of thing she desires on maybe a midget, mm -hmm. and maybe we have a lucky midget listener. Yeah, come in here. But in order to qualify, if you're a midget, you have to show up wearing an elf costume or some other indicative of your height. Wear. <laughs> <laughs> How fantastic would it be to watch a midget being filleted? Uh, it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be great. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm trying to find out the midget song. Little bells jingling as he shivers. Yeah, he has to keep the hat on the whole time. Jingle, jingle. Little feet sticking straight out. Oh, with the curly yeah. shoes on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little curly <laughs> shoes. Uh, yeah. Just kind of humiliated in his child-sized outfit with his fat ass and his normal man-sized cock and the rest of his... Genetically deformed, awful body. Oh, those little Vienna sausage fingers on the back of her head <laughs> pushing. Yeah, we're trying to. They're actually on her cheekbones pulling, <laughs> but they can't reach the back of her head. Can't reach the back of her head. <laughs> He's got them locked into her fucking into her cheeks like a fish, just pulling them down. <laughs> <laughs> ah, like a, ah. Nubby padded hands. Yeah, like she a like a muffin, <laughs> like a Kaiser roll fist. With little Vienna sausages <laughs> sticking out of them. Puffy, puffy paws. Just soft. You want to stick a pin in it and, go, and watch the air go... <laughs> and pop out really? of those fat Ghostbuster hands. Little whoopee cushion <laughs> palms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they really are awful. You really should put a midget's hand on a seat and somebody sits on it. <laughs> As the air rushes out of those five tiny little fingers. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Candy. We were looking at your pictures yesterday. Which ones? Which ones? Yeah, Candy, you have to come on the mic so you can chit-chat a bit. She wants to uh, go uh, back uh, to bed. <laughs> <laughs> she saw the couch and started laying down. It's a good sport. <laughs> you really are. What's going on, Candy? Um, absolutely nothing, as a matter of fact. No, you were having a problem um, <laughs> filling out the paperwork, I noticed. Yes. What that stumped was not my, you? That was Noah's fault. There was, yeah, what, was, what stumped you, though? Um, F he was trying to cut, copy, and paste, and yeah. it was all his fault. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, okay. Hey, Master Poe, is she cool enough to come in the studio finally? In one second. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you sign, oh. please? <laughs> Dude, yeah. this show has way too much red tape. I know. Remember the old days? Yep. They were just coming off the street, we would do whatever we were doing, and they would leave. Yep. We'd worry about it later. Absolutely. She's not signing for an apartment. She's signing just to talk Please to sign. us. Sign here. How initial. many pages is that? Initial, initial, sign. I'm not kidding. You. Initial, initial, sign. How many times sign. does she have to sign? sign? My contract wasn't this involved. No. Nor is it this accurate. I haven't gotten paid yet. <laughs> oh, no. Master Poe, you're sign. kidding. How many times do they have to sign? Each this page. is not even a joke anymore. Each page! How many pages are there? Like 20. <laughs> Why are they that... Wow. I... Look how many pages that is. They're lawyers. What do you expect? Lawyers. They the just remove the fun out of everything. Mr. Poe, X. how many pages is that? Yeah. We just... she, she signs a total... Get on mic. How many... I'm not even kidding anymore. She signs a total of four pages. But how many pages are in that pamphlet? You have a total of... Nine. <laughs> nine pages. It's in, a correct. nine page. You see, you have two two sets of forms. You have XM and you also have DFL. So there's two companies that we have to protect. The Danish Football no. League. <laughs> <laughs> Why? There's two elements here. The dumb One fucking which... liberal organization. <laughs> Thank you. Bo, <laughs> stop talking. Anyway. Here's what's going on. There are two sets of companies. One is for v the, the visual element. The other one is for the, the audio element. And oh. that's... And people have to sign off on everything. Never shall meet. Exactly. What? what is DFL? Is that one of your companies? Exactly. Oh! He has, like, side companies now. It's Steve's slipping it in. It's not slipping it in. It's been going on for the last six years. Yeah, but... Thank you. 
Anyway, we have to make sure that everybody's protected just in case. Yeah. In case your hat falls on them exactly. and they get in third case degree my burns. My hat falls on them and they burn. But we're good. We've got five guys up here now. Yeah, do we have food. fire extinguishers just in case we your do. hat falls off and sets the place on fire? Yes. All right. All right. Can we talk to the girl now? We got the hot chicken here. We're yeah, doing now paperwork. That now that it's 8 o'clock. It stinks. Two hours ago we were supposed to start this. There you go. Okay. And why is King Kong Bundy here? When did he arrive? I thought wow. he was dead. Good call. <laughs> Grossberger, you're hurting me. <laughs> oh my god, what a mess. Sorry, Candy, that you had to That's deal with the so red So we were tape chatting, you're in town just to, to show your snatch. You're in town to shoot? Um, I am in town in the process of trying to get things together for a movie I am trying to get together. Oh. Uh, Candy oh. and the Land of the Midgets. Yes. You're the one that likes the midgets, then. I am the one. Can you, like, do something with a midget on our show? I, if you can find me one, bring them on We'll down. find one. Give me ten minutes. <laughs> Any midgets we'll out there that want to be with a porn star, watch this. And she's hot. Bring them on down. And if you happen to be near 111th uh, West 57th Street, you could come down now. I own so much midget porn, it is would you, would you Would you say perform oral treats on a midget? Would you do that? Oh, yeah, bring them on down. What is it about midgets that turns you on? Uh, just the novelty of... The novelty? <laughs> just a no Snow White fetish. <laughs> Is it like you're picturing him just on top of you? No, and I want to be on my knees and him standing behind me, and we're still at equal level. Oh, at so the like, equal height. That and he, is hot. And he's taking you from behind. Yes. That's great. And that gets you all excited. Oh, yeah. Little midget hands wrapping around your boobies. Yeah. Where's I, Rich Boss when we need him? I've <laughs> never personally been introduced to a midget. Really? No. But you watch midget porn all the time. Yes. You never met. That Would you mind crazy. if he had like a little elf hat on and midget clothing? No, that'd be super hot. Wow. You are weird. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we got to have that in studio. Yes, yes we, do. we do. Any Absolutely. midgets, you got to show up, but you have to wear an elf hat. Yes, a little elf please shoes. come on down. Now, where are you from? Uh, originally, or where do I live right now? Where, do you live in the area? I live in Ohio. So you could come down in Land a day or two midgets. notice if we find yes. midgets, right? Okay, good. Ohio I is come the down in state. a three-hour notice. It's an hour and a half. All right, we ride. will find a midget, and uh, and we'll do it next week during the free play week. I can hear the call. <laughs> Uh, is, is he hot? <laughs> you know, I, I don't go out against anybody. I like him real hot. Yeah, I'd like an attractive midget, please. I like a nice ass. <laughs> I can <like a> kneel. <laughs> well, she's got to kneel. How about a dwarf? What's the difference? Exactly. Good point. <laughs> that's that's what I wanted to hear. Well, I think see, now a literal, you'll work for me. All right, people good. get it confused. I think uh, what you I think you like the dwarfs. Midgets are like regular people. Only smaller. Okay. The dwarf is the one that you always see in like the Oompa Loompas, and, <laughs> and and is that the kind you like, the little dwarfs? I, either way. Either honestly, way. Either way. Just as long small, as you're little. How about a legless guy? <laughs> which, which type of Y chromosome deformity do you seek? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cast your movie for you. Oh, I oh, am hoping yeah. so. We have all the confidence in the world at our abilities. We will find midgets for your midget porno. Just oh. walk up to him in the street. Do you want to fool around with a hot chick? I've yeah. Never yeah. Seen, I've never seen one in person. You've never seen a midget never. in person. You it's probably, a laugh riot. You it, probably didn't. just thought it was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so Ah, uh, go chase yourself. <laughs> so what do you want to get done with this movie? What kind of scenes with um, the midgets? Actually, I, what we're going to do is like a Snow White kind of medieval. I told medieval. you. Yeah, exactly. Like nice. You need seven? Candy. Well, I want as many as possible. Does well, that does like you... turn you on so much thinking of seven dwarfs just like yeah. all over you, touching you Midget everywhere? Gang and... Midget gangbang. <laughs> Midget gangbang. There's a guy that says he'll cut his legs off to be in the porno. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll wear wacky shoes on his stumps for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you, would you, if we could get two midgets, would you let one stand behind you? And then, would you perform a Hummer on one at the same time? Of course. How hot would that be? To, well, it would be fun to watch. Be f hot to watch yeah. there, Jimmy? Or you could get like three, four, five. Let's see. Okay, yeah, five would work. I could do five at once. Five at my once. My nephew's CP, ten. How about if I gave him a cigar? I got two hands. <laughs> I've got two hands. I've got two hands. All right, I got, wow. I got the five figured out. <laughs> yeah, of course. I was trying to figure it out until you said I got two hands. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I got That'd it now. Great. There's little... a poor guy that got a boat to his head that can't get laid, and here we are trying to hook up a, a Five midget. midgets. <laughs> five midgets. That's actually one real person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. So how many features have you made? Um, actually, I've only been in the industry for about two, yeah, she's young. three, four months now. Three actually. or four months? You're so 20, right? Of, yes, 20. You're 20 When were you, uh, old. when did you turn 20? August. She is 
you almost were, a teen. You were 19 just a few months ago. Yes, I was. And uh, were, were you were you in high school a couple of years ago? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. Opie, just a couple of short years ago. ago. Graduated in 02. You Ooh, did. Yes. Ah, class of 02. Uh, but we were on the air before midges. we got fired. She was roaming the, <laughs> the right. hallways of a high school. Putting hearts, I heart genetic malformations. <laughs> uh, candy's really hot, too. That's great. Yeah, we know the other girls here. Trust us. We know. <laughs> we want to talk to Candy. <laughs> And what? How did you get into uh, the adult film industry? Um, through a friend of mine, Destiny St. Clair. Yeah, she's also based out of Cleveland. She's been trying to get me to do it for years now. Finally, like three days before she was leaving, um, she's like, "You're going with me?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Is Cleveland becoming the porno capital of the no, world? No, there is no porn in Cleveland. I go to L.A. once a month. Did you have a lot of sex in school and stuff growing up? I have always been quite a nympho. A lot of sex. Yes. And then, uh, so a porn was just uh, kind of a natural progression. Pretty much. What was the first one like? Um, Were you nervous? Not really. No? No, I'm a huge exhibitionist, so it nice. didn't really... Well, we, we... Do you have on underpants? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, now uh -huh. that we... <laughs> now that we know you, I guess you could get naked, right? Uh -huh. Wait, do we have to cover the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, we Christ on us, Pony. Crap again. What are we covering? We gotta cover the goddamn windows. Why? Because there's just... some people in here that don't like nude women. Well, I don't, what? We, we can't take a chance. Kick like... them out. Mm. And, and the weird part is, it's all guys here. You're the only female, except for the female listener, and she doesn't mind, but... Well, who should we worry then about? Why are we covering get, the windows? Time to get the New York Times out. Oh, Steve not reading to go it anyway. cover the windows, and the newspapers burst into flames when he touched them. <laughs> I feel bad for the listeners that can't see what we're doing, though. Don't worry. It doesn't look like they're seeing much anyway. Yeah, they're passing they're out. They're crashing. They've been here since 1 in the morning. Yeah, the guys that brought the ribs, they're now crashing hard. Real hard. God. Why didn't they... Oh, God. What? Why didn't they do this earlier? When everyone was running around saying, what should we do? Just when I thought Ben was useless... I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ben, ben Rock. No, I mean, so nothing's you, getting done you're here. You're not wearing any underpants at all. No. That's very sexy. Would you like to see? If, a quick flash would be nice. You just oh. can't take it off yet because there's... Well, she's... Pierce twice. It's just like every girl in Cleveland. Uh, she's so hot. It, I love Cleveland chicks. They're the hottest chicks. Yeah, yeah I love I love chicks from Cleveland. What uh, what actress wow. do people tell you you look like? Uh, Kate Hudson uh -huh. and Heather Graham. Really? Those yeah. Those would be the two I get... Yeah. No, one, no one ever says Cameron Diaz? No. no I, can, I see the Kate Hudson. I see that a little bit. Yeah. see a little Kate Hudson. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Lovely. And she's pierced down below, huh? Twice. Twice? I only saw one. They're both... Nine piercings. Here, come here, babe. Nine piercings. There's a hoop and a barbell. Wow. wow. Yeah. Nice. Holy Toledo. You like that, Jimmy? Fantastic, yeah. He had his hands in his pocket when he was uh, yeah, she's looking, loving. grabbing. <laughs> grabbing his uh, yeah. plumpness. Hey, Keith, <laughs> Keith what's going on? Up. Someone has to tell us what's going on because my guys have just failed us today. We uh, are going downstairs with all the paperwork and uh, everyone's going to fill out their paperwork and we're going to start hustling people up. They're going to start filling out they the nine page the form paper. now? Oh my god. <laughs> are you kidding me? Who's we're expediting the process as we speak. Who ha why haven't these people been filling out forms since we got here this morning? Don't we have five people up here already, though? That are Yes, five people are <laughs> up so they, here. They, they are ready to go. And the rest of the people, we they took their uh, identification, checked their ID, and processed all the paperwork to be filled out. Now, you know, this is just a stupid radio show, right? <laughs> Listen, you know, this isn't the precinct. We don't take all day to do things. Like I said, the good old days where we took the X on the piece of paper and filed them in worked I for know. me, but I don't remember that. You know. It was one sheet of paper with like uh, a paragraph on it. And they just had to sign it. How, how did they not been handed stuff to sign already? It, it is quarter after eight. How do they not have shit to sign? I don't know. I don't know. I don't because know. Ben is, uh, you know, crapping and, and puking still somewhere. <laughs> Ben would have got this done. At, Where's when Eric? We, when we first Where's came sex in. bagel? He thought it was important to get me more Pop-Tarts. But now I haven't that seen them. That was probably the the least important thing to do today. No, no offense, Opie. Oh, I agree. But I, I'm sure you will agree, yes, that getting your Pop-Tarts. That was Well, I, all I asked to get them <laughs> cooked up what for What happened me. to your Pop-Tarts, by the way? They uh, overcooked. I come in here and they're black. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> our producers, I've never seen Burp they were Tarts. cooked, they were cooked, uh, perfectly. And then Steve put his hat down on him, <laughs> uh, for a second. It just, um, yeah, our producers are kind of stupid. Everyone knows you just cook them for a minute. Those you are burnt. Pop-Tarts. You don't cook them. They're all pre-cooked.
Yeah, you just heat them up real fast in a toaster. That's it. A minute. Oh. Even you could cook a pop tart, right? <laughs> yes. A girl that's uh, I'm a very good cook. A blonde. Wow, uh, uh, the paper is almost up, so we could get her naked. Steve, where's Sex Bagel? How has this paperwork not been filled out? Eric is uh, downstairs uh, corralling the next five guys that are going to be coming up. All right. So we're bringing them up in groups. Five at a time. Oh, because the building I... is, is utterly paranoid that we're going to break something, blow something up. and well, Too happen. bad for the fucking building. Well, Enough happen. with the fucking building already worrying. <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. Uh, they yeah. have every right, considering what happened last time. It happens. Yeah, well, you know, the show that we can't talk about anymore. Right, I remember that one. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, well, I was asking about her first movie. What was that like? And what was the scene? And, you know, I'd like to know. You walk in and uh, um, what is actually, it? Actually, I worked with an older man. He was probably around 50, as a matter of fact. Oh. So your first porno movie was with a 50-year-old guy. And his wife taped it. His wife taped yes. it? Yes. I don't know if you ever heard Brooke Hunter. No. No, no. no. Maybe, yeah. maybe that was for their private collection. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, really shady. Yeah. Yeah. This will be in Hollywood. My wife's going to the... film it, and I'm going to bang you. He, he had, had a video, video camera. Stores. I blew him in the car, and he's going to send me a check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. so, so you walk in, and uh, what is it, just this house? Yeah, actually, it was. He... No set? <laughs> just this house? He films a lot of this house, actually. Yeah. Yes. Very professional, or was it Very kind professional. Of just, all right, get on the bed and... No. <laughs> Actually, it was on the pool table. On the pool table? Yes. Oh, she's and sexy. did it start out with a little oral? Oh, of course. So, you you, oh. you know, you're pl you, what was the plot? You're shooting pool? Um, No, actually, because he's actually a lawyer, <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And so, he was doing a movie set about, like, <sighs> people needing law advice or whatnot. Sure, sure. So that's how it started off. So you walk in, you need a lawyer. Exactly. And you're like, hi, I need a... <laughs> <laughs> the door's closed, by the way, so you can get naked anytime. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah please One go. moment, please. Sure. She is fantastic. She's so perky. I'll Beautiful. Say she is. Wow. Yeah. yeah, those are 20 year old boobs. Wow. Very nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, wow. Nice tattoo oh, on the back, man. big huge tattoo right above the uh, uh, the target area, Anthony. Terrific. Must uh, give some applause. Very nice. Candy's oh. very, very nice. You sure are lovely. That's great. She hasn't been ravaged by time oh. or anything. No, you still got uh, a good one. Wow. everything happening there. Yeah. Very nice. Very there lovely. There we go. Naked. Yes, you are. And now yes. we all just stare and die. <laughs> Uh, all right. all right, cool. So they're filling out paperwork. This should be in about nine fifty. <laughs> uh, yes, Keith. Real quick, just let me go down the list of uh, your name, your model's name, your stage name. You're also known as your mailing address, your city, state, zip, your picture ID, one, your phone number, your mobile number, your date of birth, your age, your legal name, your social security number, your alias, if any, your professional name. You're also known as please sign. Today's date, picture ID number two, your email, your website, your driver's license, and the expiration date of your driver's license. Page one. That's page one. Page one. And then oh. page two has the same questions again after six long paragraphs of blah, blah, blah. Same thing on page three. All right, this is going to end. Same thing on page four. No, yeah, we're going to have to revamp this. Website? Why website? This is going to uh -huh. end. Trust me, this is going to end. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's why it's taking so long. I know. Ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, there's a naked girl in this. That studio. is all. That and by the way, we haven't had one midget call yet. <sighs> that wants to get banged in a play. Where are all little people? They're, they're probably all at payphones, just waiting for a boost. <laughs> 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 Listening, crying, little tear from his yeah. eye. I can't get up. Hey, could you help a little fella? <laughs> could you help an old altar boy, father? <laughs> yeah, we'll find a midget. We had a midget um, girl come in. Um, she wanted to be a stripper, I think. And she yeah. got naked for us on the console. This was at the old place. Uh -huh. And um, she started crying and, and realized it was a bad idea. And she didn't yeah, want to she do didn't it want after to all. Pursue that it was longer. one of the most uncomfortable moments ever. <laughs> Weeping naked midget. It's the, it's the first time she ever saw the world from the height of a normal person. Oh, maybe that's a guy. And she realized how ridiculous she looks at walking around. Bumping into knees and crotches. By the way, everyone's um, uh, calling in going, after seeing Candy all hot and nice here, that you'll definitely get a hooker tonight. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, right. No. Jimmy's going to get all worked up. Now, Jimmy's swearing off hookers. I spent a lot of money doing awful things. I see. Yeah, but I won't tonight. No. Maybe. You don't think so? <laughs> no, maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It was a positive no, and it's like, no, maybe. Uh, no. I don't think so. I don't well, think so. It's, it's kind of like taking somebody to dinner, but you're just cutting out the dinner time. You know what I mean? Somebody, what time do you need me? 
Um, <laughs> right after the show. <laughs> wow. He ain't kidding either, Candy. He's... And you think I am? Ooh. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, we got we got a love connection. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> She'd probably be out of my range anyway. She's hot. <sighs> He's got a big hog, though. No, I don't. Let's most of it. most of his friends have seen hand. it. Candid. <laughs> right, turn off the camera. No, it's very average right now. Anyway, you got to give me some time to get worked right. up. I'm packing like two right now. Well, come here and put it in my mouth and they'll take care oh. of things. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Jesus. It's... <laughs> my hog is very average. He's a porn right. girl. It's... If the midget chick comes in, I'll be happy to <laughs> whip it out and show it to her and like, measure it against her face. A little puffy hand. Yeah. Look at this. It hits your torso from your mouth. Candy. Well, let her feel it through the jeans. I, it's we don't, soft. We it's don't not, need to look. We I can change look. that. Yeah, right, get, her, get over there. Just try it for a second. It's soft. Tim? Candy, what do you think? It's fine. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, she's, she's her, her face just turned a little pink there. What do you think, Candy? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled. She's lovely. Wow. Goddamn Jimmy's going to get laid again. <laughs> But she's moaning a little. <laughs> That's good, right? Oh, yeah. Slightly could... wet at the moment. She has lovely... Uh, you know. She's just staring yeah, at Yeah, this now, is man. great. You are a nympho. She, she's she doesn't even lovely. know where she is anymore. She she grabbed his that's pants, nice. and now it's like... Oh, that's perfect. Now Jim's just oh. gazing down at her her womanhood. <laughs> Nakedness. Nice. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's grabbing himself again. <laughs> and then he's got that whacked out look that he gets. Look, it's just nice. it's you lovely. get a whacked out look though. That's the pervenue that area. pops it's out. It's really sexy. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. All right. Um, hmm. Moving on. <laughs> I must say, uh, yeah, there's something going on between these two. Yeah. Now, I'm just looking. She doesn't mind me looking. No, not at all. I won't touch him. Just. Yeah. What do you think, Candy? Um, about Jimmy. Uh, I'm a nice fellow, right? I'm in love. Stop rubbing yourself. She's really sexy. <laughs> She's really sexy. All right, why don't you see what's going on there now? It's a little bit it's better. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. He was making that whole oh, face. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he's definitely. Uh, <laughs> He's she, definitely she doing something tonight. Uh, You've turned on a porn star. Look at her. She's no, definitely she no right. Oh, I am. Very, very. I can. I can tell. She's not faking this. I just want to kiss it. It's just nice, man. Oh. All right, turn off, turn off the camera, Steve. <laughs> oh. mm. Real fast. Go ahead. No, nah, I don't want to. She's in here for something else. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, <it's not laughs> else. She's not here for that. <laughs> You're not little enough. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Oh. Never heard that. <laughs> no, I believe that. That really is a first. I usually have to have eight-year-olds come over to tell me that. <laughs> All right. Oh, are we finally ready to give away the MiFi? These guys have been waiting outside for uh, I don't know six, seven hours now. You dopey midgets don't know what you're missing. No. You stupid midgets out there. She is really sexy. Ooh. Mm. Jim, oh, take your hands off the porn star. I'll just touch your breasts. I'm very nice about it. I was just... for you. That wasn't rude. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And um, Candy, we all took a liking to Candy, I believe. N nothing wrong with Star. She's uh... She had a husband with her. Oh, really? Yeah, with a big mule, apparently. Oh, that was the problem. I just yeah. wasn't into her because she wasn't as hot as Candy. Really? I like Candy her. was uh, very young. Candy's only been in the porn business three she months. She was tight. She was uh, 20 years old from Cleveland. And her fantasy is to film a, a porno with midgets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so far, I went through about uh, five to 600 emails over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Now, one midget wants to do a porn star and, and, and be famous in this movie. Watch the show on midgets over the weekend, by the way. It's yeah. on, um, I think, HBO On Demand or something. And uh, it was a whole show. They, they show four midgets yes. and what their, their lives are like. One guy's a caretaker, kind of cleanup guy at some... Uh, I don't know. It's one of those boarding houses, like a, or like a bed, bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. Yeah. that's it. Yeah, and uh, his his life is just a living hell. And another guy's a, a, an orthopedic surgeon, a pediatric orthopedic surgeon, and he's a doctor. You know, he gets his little I've, midget hands. I've seen that guy. Stands up on the uh, yeah, yeah, little yeah. stool and does his thing. Another one was a girl that uh, decided to get her legs and arms stretched surgically over the course of years and years, like um, I don't know. She was 11 when they started and 17 when they yeah, finished. Yeah, they got, they got those metal things on yeah. or whatever. They put they... these big brackets around their legs, break the bone. Yeah, and then they just slowly twist it a centimeter every week Ooh. or so. A little uh, a quarter turn of a screw every day. Oh, it's every so day. It's, yeah, but it's a little like nothing a day. What they do is break the bone, and then as the bone's trying to heal, you keep spreading the break apart a little bit at a time. So it's constantly trying to regrow the bone to, to connect itself. 
with the other half that's constantly going away. And how many inches did she gain? She grew a foot. A foot. So yeah. she was a fidget, and was then she the was the same just special a with the shit. truck driver that did the same thing. No. And he looks all weird now because they were able to. They add do a, look a little weird. They were able to add a foot onto him as well. It wasn't the same show. It was the one though with the woman that's short, even for dwarfs. Yeah. She and her fingers uh. were just a mess. They also have this problem. That's why their fingers are so weird, where the joints are fused. And the thumb is called floating. It doesn't do anything. It just hangs there. So they got to grab things between like their pointer and middle finger. And she was she was about two feet tall. And she was dating a guy who's about four foot eleven. Yeah, he was really short. Never felt like a man before until he met this little tall abortion. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the beat. I was watching this with Bob Kelly. And his oh, apartment. boy, that must have been fun. Yeah. And w when what happened was the guy asked her to marry him in yep. front of her family. And she, of course, got excited, and she went, "Oh!" and her little arms flailed back and forth, and she hugged him, and they went to his shoulder. She yeah. couldn't <laughs> hug him. And I look over at this awful Mexican Bob Kelly, and he's crying. Stop he's like, it. I wanted to bite his nose off and spit it in his face. He was crying. Crying. Look, crying. when I was watching it last night, I was tearing up also, but it was from laughing so hard. I, it's the exact part you're talking about. She goes, ah, oh, and you know how a girl, you ask her to marry you, you've seen this on TV shows, they, they put their hands in front of their mouths yep. and go, oh, oh my God, and they're like, they're, they're blotting tears from their eyes and they grab their face. This girl, she could not get her hands to her face. Her arms are too short. So picture her arms trying to get to her face. They're about shoulder level, just shaking. These little meaty palms. She looks like a. <laughs> she looks like a baby T Rex. Yeah, a little baby T Rex. <laughs> a stuffed animal T Rex. Oh, little those puffy hands and that little nubbin, nubbin fingers of hers with those little disgusting nails at the end Ugh. that she has done at the manicure that you know when she goes in to have her nails done the person goes oh. I gotta hold that mitt for like, <laughs> for an hour and take care of this. It's just these little nubs coming off of this this muffin. Little Disney character hands. Little yeah, exactly. Fat Mickey Mouse fingers. There should just be three fingers and a thumb there. What they should do is wrap her hand up with duct tape so no one has to look at it. <laughs> Here, just point at what you need, stupid. We'll get it for you. And she she drove a car. She actually drove a car, and they had these huge pedal extenders because her feet. Barely, barely came off the edge of the seat. Like, her ankles were at the edge of her car seat. So these pedals had to come all the way up to uh, where it would be, where your crotch would be. A normal person would be. That's where yeah. her pedals were. She's driving a car. The sickest little show. I was laughing. I howled. And Bob Kelly was he crying. He dropped a tear, this emotional boob. <laughs> when, when that little, um, she was just so happy to be getting married, yeah. and I'm howling at those little yeah. those little butterfly wing arms, just flailing. <laughs> old hummingbird wing arms, just back and forth. That's right, your little, your little thing that should have been hangered when you were first conceived. Fly away. You'll fly back to school now. I was seeing laughs from thalidomide babies. At her little arms. <laughs> oh, she really should be behind a dumpster in a Planned Parenthood. Oh, sorry. Oh, anyway, oh, yeah. okay. So Maybe we're talking about Candy, the porn star, the 20-year-old porn star. She's in the business only three months so far. She wants to film this porno with midgets. Yeah. Like kind of a Snow White thing in Central Park. Right. And have a bunch of midgets banger. How cool would that be to watch? And I had enough confidence in our radio show. I said, we will cast this porno for you. Do you think we many will midgets... find midgets that will bang you? Do you think they listen to this program or would listen after one of those little. I'm <laughs> thinking <laughs> the friends of the midgets, though. You're They'll... thinking the friends of the midgets? They will get the job done for us. They're truly friends of the midgets. Do you think they're listening to this? Yeah, let's be honest, man. I think we're turning off the midget demo. Pretty yeah. much pretty much everyone wanted to bang Candy. I mean, she was just yeah. unbelievably hot. You know, she's not worn out yet. Like most porn stars that come marching mm -hmm. through here. She's still perky. Still very perky. I mean, she was uh, a mere teenager only three, four months ago, Anthony. 20 years old, right. Yeah, everything looked uh, A-OK -okay on her. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So, um... So now I got to like rewind a little bit. So the the show Friday was a success, and then I, I got on the phone with Washington to kind of discuss the free play week.
They're all nervous that we're going to have like like uh, you know live sex acts and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, on they, the program. Yeah, the phone meetings are are great with that. Hey, guy, because they try to be nice. Yeah. They don't want to. They're I I think they're a little frightened. And they, they're trying to be diplomatic at the same time. They're so paranoid like, that we're going to say fuck a lot. They're just, yeah, but we're not. They're paranoid about that. They're paranoid about live sex acts. They just don't want the live sex. So instead of going, guys, free play week, just knock it off with the live sex. It's, uh... Hey, guys, we're all there. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> uh, welcome. Glad you could take time out from your schedules for this meeting. Um, we just want to talk a little bit about the free play week. And, um, we've been teeing some stuff up and, uh... We just think uh, perhaps, uh, I don't know, perhaps we could keep a little more creativity in the program without having to go to certain areas of the show that uh, that um, you do occasionally go to. You guys are very clever. Uh, clever, maybe, talented. Maybe this week would be the week where you show off your cleverness. Right, right. <laughs> Shut up. You could be a little more clever. <laughs> right. Maybe be a little funnier. Yeah, because yeah. that's easy to do. They just right, don't we'll, want sex. We'll just be funnier this week. Because being funny is just so easy. And believe me, only the Opie and Anthony show, only the Opie and Anthony show would even get people telling us to comment down on satellite radio. It's satellite radio. <laughs> it's satellite radio. This is where there is no FCC. It's the Wild West. Well, they feel that uh, because they open the channel to everyone, that some people are going to just kind of, their elbows are going to hit their, their their XM satellite radio, and by accident it's going to go on 202, and we're going to be in the middle of some yeah. crazy sex act. And then, of course, the mom who's driving the minivan is going to have the kids in the back car. Can't believe what she's hearing. It's going to uh -huh. take her at least five minutes to, to turn the channel, and Whoa. by that time, all the damage done sure. to the kid, and... Uh, and now it's our problem, and XM Satellite Radio's problem. Nothing Mommy, I want hooker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing worse than when your kids are listening to that type of talk, and you're outside the van as it rolls backwards on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Down a little boat ramp. <laughs> yeah, blame us for that one, too. So, so they had to give us the talk on Friday. You know, it's the free play week, very important for you guys and the company. So maybe if you, if you could kind of keep it a little more highbrow than usual. And, and, um, and what we told them was, uh, yeah, we'll think about it. Yeah, perfect answer. We didn't say yes or no. Ah, we'll think about it. I'll think about it. Which means we will do the show that we know how to do. Yeah, if something comes <laughs> up, you know, we're going to do it. So then uh, the discussion um, goes to the show that we don't talk about anymore. We've, how long have we been here? Two months? Two months and we have one of those already? We already have a show that we do not talk about anymore. Eek. And, uh, and the big discussion was... Um, you guys, uh, we don't want you getting the interns late anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't believe someone has to have this discussion with us. Two months in. <laughs> Two months in. Guys, we are outraged down here in Washington. We could not believe what we were hearing. And as we move forward, we want to make a new rule. You cannot get the interns late anymore on your program. Ouch. Why? I guess they have a problem with that in the work I guess, environment. I guess technically they're employees. I don't know. Are they employees? Why can't we get our interns laid? That's like a great fringe benefit. If you're sure. if you're uh, you know shooting for an internship with the Opie and Anthony show, just the possibility that they may get you laid is kind of cool. I'm thinking you don't get that at uh, other places. You don't other get programs. that at IBM. No, yeah. you won't. Fill in stupid company here. I went with <laughs> IBM. It's a good one. Yeah, I should have said Apple or something. No, IBM is Those fine. Boys down at IBM <laughs> counting on us. <laughs> the Captain Hook uniform. So, uh, you know, I'm never going to say what happened on the show that we can't talk about anymore. I mm -hmm. don't know if the intern actually got action. Oh, no, of course not. I have no idea. I certainly don't know Don't know if I got any action in the other room after. Don't know that at all. Right. Either. I was looking at uh, that couch, and uh, an intern was in here, a girl was in here, but I don't know what was happening. And quite honestly, after the show, I have no idea what happened. I don't either. I didn't see it for myself. So I, it's just uh, it's just all talk. I had no idea what happened. I was too busy it's fielding all everyone's phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, we're screwed, right? <laughs> dude, we're screwed, right? I just flashed back to 2002. Dude, what do you think? Uh, uh oh, what do I think? I think we're fired again. Yeah, That's that what I think that was the phone call. I was at the diner and I I called Anthony and he did say these words: "We are so fired." Yeah. I had to walk out of the diner. Because we were sitting down, 
and I had to take a dump, and I swear to God, I was so upset. I'm like, I'm gonna shit my pants at the diner at the table. Just from being upset. Just from being so annoyed in the filthy bathroom, I had to go home. Yeah. Go so, home. Ben, could I have the Lysol, please? Did you uh, fart already? No. 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 Uh, I did not. This it's uh, the the megaphone. Oh my God, it has bad breath on it. Smells like I was t uh, talking with my ass. Oh. I think it's from the onion bagel. <laughs> like, I can't talk into it right after I eat an onion bagel. Yeah. Stop licking the megaphone. <laughs> it's awful. You ever scrape your tongue with your fingernail and sniff it? Oh, I try uh, not to. All no. Right. All right, so uh, so that discussion was had. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It smells like the Don Geronimo microphone. Oh, uh, <laughs> doesn't smell that bad. Who, who's he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone from our past or something? I don't know who he is. Uh, so we had that discussion, Anthony, and they're like, "Please don't, do not get the interns late anymore." And little did I know, as I'm having that discussion and saying, "Yeah, no problem, we got it all under control up here," mm -hmm. our own intern was banging one of the porn stars. Yeah, yeah. But I guess we could discuss this on the air because it did happen uh, off hours. Right. It did happen when after uh, uh, all the microphones were turned off and yes. and the lights were turned off in the studio and mm -hmm. everyone went home. It's on and, uh, and it, I don't his think own it was, time. It was on his own time, and I don't think it... Uh, yeah, yeah. It, but it didn't happen it on the premises, time? right? Didn't happen on the premises. Didn't interfere with his job? Um, no, not here. at all. So what happened was after the show, or near the, the... I guess during the last hour of the show, as Candy's in the studio all hot and naked and stuff, mm -hmm. um, she's like, oh my God, your intern Noah is so cute. So cute. I, I want to do him. Well, you got to give her that. <laughs> he is a dish. She's, she's knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's got a smile on him, I'm just saying. <laughs> and so I, I didn't think anything of it, and I just kind of, we went across the street, had some breakfast, and I guess uh, at that point you were, like, uh, hooking up with her or whatever? Uh, yeah, a little bit. little bit. A little bit. I want to, uh, I think I should take this time to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity oh, to work at the Opie and Anthony show. How does the intern get to bang the porn star? <laughs> well, she uh, took a liking to him. Where did She's the banging uh, take place? It's my place. Uh, I live uh, across the river. Jersey. Jersey. So, so she went home with you and you got to bang a porn star? Yeah, we were hanging out for most of the weekend. <laughs> most of the weekend? Yeah. The whole weekend? Yeah. She's a good kid. <laughs> good kid. No, we had a good time. Dude, you banged the 20-year-old hot, I've only been in the business three months, porn star from Cleveland. Yeah. And, and you're taking my coffee order today? <laughs> I think I, know, I should right? be getting him coffee. No. I look no. at him differently today. He's not just the guy that gets coffee. No. He's the guy that bangs hot porn stars. Banging a porn star. Now, now. I've never banged a hot porn star. Have you, Anthony? No, I can't say I ever had a porn star. Was the pressure on knowing that she's a professional? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it took me a little bit to get you know into the scenario. <laughs> really, once or twice I'd say before you know you're you're really there. Was yeah, I was happy with the uh, with the uh, merchandise and the seems performance. Seems like she's all right. You know, yeah. she seems like she had a good time. We talk. I wonder we'll if we should get her on the phone. We got her phone number. She sent some emails actually to you guys thanking you for uh, oh. the opportunity to be here and have a good time. <laughs> opportunity to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah, thanking us uh, for being able to bang our intern. That's so funny because she she is. I don't know if I could a bang porn a porn star. I don't think I could bang a, a porn star. She is in porno movies, but the fact is, she's also a twenty year old girl mm -hmm. that wanted to hook up with someone she found attractive here. Uh, Dude, she's a nympho. You could just tell by looking at her. Oh yeah. When she grabbed uh, Norton's crotch, she just went flush in the face. <laughs> she was just she that wanted was probably revulsion and hatred. Uh, she yeah, wanted well. action right at that moment. Well. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> not, not that kind of action. So, not Jim Norton action. So, did she teach you any new tricks? Oh, uh, it was. I mean, it was a lot of fun. That was definitely like probably the best sex I've ever had. Wow. Know, like, did you wear a bag? Oh yeah. No, we're, safe. we're very safe. Why? We're a bag. You here? Well, we're, no, I, I we're did actually. Safe. I saw we're, her. We're now work. going out. We're very yeah. safe. She had her paperwork in her purse, actually. So I mean, like I saw it. The AIDS test yeah, paperwork. Yeah, she stuff. just. When was it done? Um, last month. She Last just long carries long. around her AIDS paperwork? All girls do. Mm -hmm. They and, do. And you got her number in your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't have paperwork. Rock. I just carry around a picture of a girl I fucked six months ago. I'm look, she's not thin. <laughs> <laughs> she looks healthy. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, man. so it took a while to uh Yeah, get into the to the game. Because yeah, you know, you, there's a lot of pressure there. There's a lot of well, pressure there. Of course. You you gotta yeah. look at some of the films that she's been in and uh the guys that she's with. You're talking, you know, the baby's arm clutching an apple kind of manhood. Yeah. And then, uh, 
You know, was she was she open? Let's just say, read between the lines. Was she open to all forms of uh, sex? She was. Yes, she's uh, she's experienced. Experienced? Did but, you? Yeah. Let's just say, uh, was there any point in the evening where maybe you were uh, looking at the part on the back of her head? Uh, well, there was there's a lot of fun things that went down. I don't want to yeah. be you know too graphic about oh, it. But why? Well, I'm just like a I'm a, I'm a nothing. Dude, I'm a little nothing. She's, a, she's a, porn a porn star. star. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. Give us the details. <laughs> yeah, what happened? No, no, just pretty much you know just the the basic straight stuff. Did you do the old dirt road? <laughs> she's an exhibitionist though, and I'm not. Absolutely not. We were going shopping at one point, and she wanted to do something in the basement of like a furniture store. <laughs> No, oh, we I, no. we oh think uh, the vestibule of a church is a good uh, <laughs> good place to start <laughs> for public sex. Uh, Wait, you guys hung out all weekend, went shopping and all that, yeah, a little bit. And she wanted to have sex in public. Like a date, I guess. Yeah, she wanted it's to like do a some movie. stuff in public. It's like a movie plot. What's going on? They go shopping. <laughs> but I'm, but look at me. Did you go I'm to not, FAO I'm... Schwartz and the two years kind of <laughs> do the tap dance on the piano keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> it's sort of the Christmas season, so a little Christmas shopping. Uh, no, actually, no, we did not. But did, you know. did you sing a duet? Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Did you fall for? No, I mean, she's a good kid. I like her. She's a good girl. But I mean, you like, no, 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 no Richard Gere jokes. How old are you, sir? Uh, twenty-three next week. Twenty-three. She's, she's 20. twenty. Kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Same birthday as the uh, guy who got hit in the head with a boat, actually. Oh, yeah. You uh, traded we, birthdays? Yeah. We What's left, your birthday? We talked. We left her uh, a voicemail. Maybe she'll call later today. Mm -hmm. We'll get her side of the story, but man. Did she have the big O? A couple times. Supposedly five. But, you know, she's pierced in all sorts of places, so there's not Yeah, how did those work out her. for you? Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, that's. I lost my virginity to a girl with uh, multiple piercings. So Down like, there? I'm okay yeah. with that, yeah, but like. Do you think the orgasms easy. were real? Because, you know, yeah. she is an actress, she's technically. A oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is if they're still there, but uh -oh. I'm kind of. Why are you taking oh, your pants? Oh, he's not taking his pants off. <laughs> wow, wait a minute! You got wow. like scratches and black and blues on your back. She's brutal. She was scratching your back like that. A little, little violent. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's some. Uh, that's some. Uh, yeah. So thanks sex. a lot, you guys. Appreciate well, it. Well, that sounds like a fun time. You're very. Oh Jesus! If you want an internship with the Opie and Anthony show, I think oh, I might apply Jesus. for one. Email Ben Sparks one zero two seven at yahoo.com. We get our interns laid. Jeez. What are you panicking about, Ben? Nothing. We got her. Oh, we got her. Ah, <laughs> we're just waiting to get her on the phone here. Oh my God, this is just. There she is. All right, hold on. I got it. Ben do was this. panicking. Yes. <laughs> Candy. Yes. What what the hell happened after the show? Oh, why don't you guys know about that? What? We've been talking about it. Yeah, he just showed us the um the the scratch marks on his back. They haven't healed yet. <laughs> and, Sorry about that. And uh he said you had five orgasms. <laughs> Were they real plenty orgasms? More than that. Were they real? I said plenty more than that. And they were all real orgasms, huh? Of course. Ooh. And um, and and he said that you guys want to have sex in public at a furniture store, or you did, and he said he no to that. Let me. What were you guys doing at a furniture store? It was like a. Oh, we're shopping already, around they're already, out a, they're already shopping for their apartment. The dining room table. <laughs> we so, could bang on that. So, Candy, you like Noah, huh? Very, very much so. Oh. Oh. I think we got a love connection. How's that going to work out if you're a porn star? Really? Um, how isn't that going to work out? I can so, come visit. So this isn't something that's, uh, you know, one and done. You guys might uh, see each other again. Oh, we will definitely be seeing each other. Oh, yeah, I hope so. This is like a plot for a movie. Porn yeah. star bangs intern. <laughs> what, uh... What are your feelings there, Noah? Are you a little nervous, maybe, about getting uh, attracted to her a little more? Or Actually, you see each other a little more. Maybe her lifestyle. Yeah, her... I thought about it. I thought about that. And you know, Richard Gear jokes aside, like, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. You whole got a scenario. gerbil in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought the other Richard oh. Gear. Okay, I got you, <laughs> Candy. So, how does he rate as far as his sexual performance? Excellent. Ooh, and yeah. and you've banged a few professionals in your time, in your short time, right? Plenty of professionals. And no one knows what he's doing, huh? No, is absolutely amazing. Did you teach him anything new? Some, any new tricks? <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, we'll get there? I have only had Wait, you didn't? Him. How no, many no. different positions did you guys oh, try? Oh, no, 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 no. We <laughs> very straight and, and narrow. Oh. For okay. now. 
I'm waiting for, for uh, after the ABM. Yeah, we'll end up maybe. breaking you. Don't oh. worry. What? Don't I said we'll end up breaking Noah. Don't worry. Okay. And uh, I guess, I don't know. As far as like how he rates with other porn stars, is it our boy packing or what? He is very, very well endowed. Oh! <laughs> The mule update. Wow. <laughs> I'm like blushing. I can't take this. All right. Well, you have some blood that can go to your face? <laughs> some left in that body of yours? Wow. Oh, all yeah. right. Well, so it looks like you enjoyed your time in New York there, Candy. Very, very much so. And you pretty much spent the whole weekend with Noah. Yeah. So until the time I left, I was there as much as possible unless I had to work. <laughs> Unless I had to work, yeah. That what, what kind of work to... did you have to do in New York? Uh, well, what kind of work do you think? <laughs> wow. Well, so wait a minute. She was at your place, Noah, right? <laughs> and you guys are hanging out, shopping for furniture, having sex, and then all of a sudden, she got a beeper, her phone goes off, and, and she goes, "I gotta, I gotta go to work. I gotta go." So uh, you go, "Bye, honey," and she leaves, and then, uh, and then she comes back. How much later? Uh, an hour or two. An hour or two later. About an uh, hour and f 20 minutes, I'm thinking. 10 minute cab ride <laughs> and, and to a, and fro. Have you made a, a romantic path of rose petals to the shower <laughs> for her to follow? Sometimes they just talk yeah, the about rose football, petals, Anthony. The, the rose petals were from the front door of his apartment right to the shower. Right to the shower. <laughs> and then, oh, but sometimes they just talk about football. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. It's just, a, you know, <laughs> oh my God. hanging out, having a burger. What Maybe. kind? What kind of furniture were you shopping for? Mouth washing a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is something. It, you know what it is? What, were you feeling? I know what it is now. Huh? It's absolutely risky business. It's the movie Risky Business. That's what was going on. Actually, he's in the house, hanging out with the chick. She's still got work to do. Were you jamming your Tangerine Dreams Greatest Hits CDs? <laughs> Did you slide in on your socks wearing only your underwear and do a little dance? Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. <laughs> a little Bob Seger in the background? There it is. <laughs> Here comes Noah sliding in. Yeah! <laughs> Look, Noah's dancing. He's getting the apartment all set while she's out with some other guy. <laughs> Went to the furniture store to find something to put that big glass egg on. <laughs> sure! <laughs> <laughs> Parents are away. Guido the killer pimp. <laughs> did you did you drive the Porsche around? <laughs> oh, okay. like, uh, lease. The lease. 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 Right. Okay. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so she went to work. How many times did she uh, go to work? Uh, once. No, she left on Friday night for most of the night, and then once on Saturday. <laughs> so she came back Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon? No, or? Saturday. Well, Saturday we spent most of the day together, and she had to leave for most of the evening, and then she came back later at night. Actually, twice you came so, back, didn't you? Was yeah. there any? Um, yeah, twice. Was there any jealousy going on in your head, knowing that uh, you no. know none? No, 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 no jealousy. No, we're no no illusions here. Yeah, work is on. work, my dear. Absolutely. That boy has no illusions. <laughs> God, this is a great story. All right. Well, thank yeah, you, Candy. Cool. Anything else you want what, to add? What'd you do when she was gone? <laughs> yeah, really um, cleaned up, I think. <laughs> yeah, put things kinda... back in place, move the bed back to the wall. Hanging around the house, <laughs> looking at his watch. Yeah. <laughs> Called the 1-800-AIDS <laughs> hotline just to make oh, sure everything's God. okay. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Really. Hi, Candy. No, again. Oh, no, I have my a message. You saw them. Uh, I don't know. Hope, hope everything's going good at work. I've... <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. Right. I miss you. Uh, Can you call me on the break? Call me back. I'm just, I'm at the house. You know, just call me. Okay, bye. Hi, Candy. No, again. I'm um, leaving a message. Uh, boy, uh, you've been at work for a while. Just wondering if you're coming back. Um, Chinese tonight? Uh, okay, give me, give me a call back. I'm, uh. Just a little worried about you, you know. All right, baby. I'll talk. I'll talk to you later. Oh Wasn't anything God. like that. You weren't thinking you should call her or something. No, Make sure she's okay. Because you know there's some riffraff out there that you know. It's almost like uh, it's almost like uh, going out with a cop or something. A cop has to go out on the job. You don't know. That's Maybe true. that's the night. All right, you know. So, well, uh, thank you, Candy. We might call you back. All right, because this uh, this story is still developing. Obviously, That's perfectly fine, dear. 
And we're still looking for midgets for your porno, okay? Please do so. And I will talk to all of you soon and have no like, call me when you get the second. <laughs> all right. Oh, I will. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, yeah. yeah. right. boys. Bye. All right. Why don't you go talk to Candy? Because now I'm going to do the second half of the story, which makes it even better. Which makes it even more brutal. She pretty much just admitted that she was, uh, look, she wasn't filming a movie in New York City. No. She, no. was, she was making some extra cash. Making some cash. Oh. Uh, spending a little time with some gentlemen. Right. So now, now it's like open game. Yeah. No, Ben, you don't even know the half of it. No, you have no idea. Ben's laughing already. He's laughing at Jimmy, but he doesn't even know the half of it. This is where she spent. Well, this is this is the portion of the show where we prove that Jim Norton's life is truly pathetic, just like he's been telling us for for years. Are you, everyone thinks I exaggerate, and I people don't <laughs> understand that from head to toe I am garbage. This I will Anyone be else Bob Kelly that? with a tear dripping down my eye for this story because <laughs> it is sad. Anyone else noticed that Norton had nothing to say to Candy? I'll, nothing. I'll, 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 well, I didn't want to again. I don't see block other guy. And of if he's course. got a thing going, it's like I'm not gonna jump in and say something stupid and ruin the mood. If not... you were listening to Cherry Darts on Friday, um, it was obvious. Plus, that... you didn't mention it. That's why I didn't mention it. Yeah, I know. Well, now it's time to mention it. Uh, we were gonna mention it anyway. I, I, me? I wasn't gonna let this one slide. You no shouldn't. effing way. So uh, it, it was pretty obvious that a lot of people took a liking to Candy because she's young, right. she's hot, she's. She's, you know, only been in porn a few months, and she's willing, obviously willing a, to do anything. She's obviously a nympho. She took a liking to Noah. Um, but um, there's no secret when a girl comes in here, Norton uh, will kind of feel feel these girls out and, and also feel them up. <laughs> cut it out, Hope! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we got Candy to, you know, mess with uh, Norton's mule and stuff a few times during the show. Through the pants. And uh, Norton was thinking there may be something there because she did get all, you know, flushed after she touched your mule. You were thinking maybe that I might be able to get something going on here. But not the way you think. What do you mean? Um, I was, we were joking around about, um, like, oh yeah, he likes to, Norton likes to go out and pay for girls. And she's like, well, come on. Like, kind of like a joke. Right. But I knew it wasn't a joke. Mm -hmm. So I was under no illusions that like, ooh, I think she likes me. I never make that oh, error, okay, okay. ever. Well, see, I, I, I forget we're dealing with a professional oh, as yeah. far as, oh, yeah. but I also as know far as Jimmy might, go. Jimmy might ask a girl, hey, you want to go out for a cup of coffee or something just to maybe get to know her a little better. Yeah, at times, yeah, right. sure. But you, you weren't thinking that with her or anything? No, nah, I didn't get those vibes off her. I yeah. immediately knew, like, you know, like, she's like, I'm an info, but I never really believed it. I know it's all about business. Yeah. Uh, at least the relation with me was about business, and that was perfectly acceptable as mm -hmm. far as I was concerned. All right. So, um... She spent the weekend with Noah, though, and uh, no, no money was exchanged there. Of course not, no. She spent it because she found him attractive, uh, and they spent the whole weekend having sex, shopping... Having free yeah. sex, Anthony. Free sex. Candy the porn star had free sex with our right. lowly intern. Right. Who's pretty much a nothing trying to, you know, learn about radio and things like that. You no offense to knock Noah. Knock a man down. No offense to Noah. He's still a young guy and he's, uh, you know, he's growing and learning every day. Mm -hmm. um, Norton wanted to have sex with Candy as well. Yep. Well, why not? <laughs> And Why how much not? was it going to cost you? Well, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I I, I never... I, Before Norton said, I just want to make it perfectly clear, lowly intern Noah, free sex, free sex all, all weekend, weekend long, long with <laughs> hot 20-year-old porn star Candy. Free sex all weekend long. So much sex that he's saying no to sex in bathrooms in public. Right. Scratches down his back. He's wild, so mad man sex. He's so much sex. sex he, uh, there was a point where he had to say no mas. No, not... <laughs> Not in the basement at the furniture store. Right. Well. <laughs> as, as the day was progressing, she was indicating that she liked Noah. You could tell that she liked him. Yeah. Um, and so I was going to ask for her number just to conduct some business. Uh-huh. But him and her were kind of talking... And to me, that would have been like a C block move. Not that she would have went for me over him, but that kind of adds a bad vibe if you're in the studio and everybody's like a vulture. Sure. So it was like, ah, you know, let it go. I'll, I'll talk to Joe later and see if she maybe wants to talk to me later. But I didn't want to make her uncomfortable because she seemed to have a vibe going with Noah. I'm not a blocker. Right. I hate cock blocking guys. Absolutely. So I talked to Joe after. I'm like, um, hey, man, just call Candy. Uh, I would like to talk to her if she wants to. If she doesn't tell her it's cool, no, one, no one's uncomfortable, whatever. Uh, just give her my number. And so he talked to me like hours later. So much for not whoring, by the way. Remember, I know, I'm a weak man. But remember I, I you were swearing off that? I wanted to feel it out. 
So um, Joe calls me and goes, look, man, I don't know the deal. She said, you could call her. He's like, I really don't know if she likes you or not. I'm not sure. I'm like, yeah, no problem. He uh-huh. stayed out of it. So I gave her a jingle. <laughs> and, and called uh, her up. Right after she got back from good old New Jersey. And I'm like... Uh, yeah, when, when, did you, when did you call her? Like, exactly. What day and time was it? It about? was Friday... It was sometime she had just come back into Jersey, obviously from having a lot of free, yeah. free. young sex. <laughs> Although, yeah, I'm trying to think what was happening while you called her. Was she actually with? No, 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 no. She actually, I believe she, she had answered just the call. had free sex with him. Free sex and left. With she our probably intern. got the call from Joe, knowing that I wanted to talk to her, but probably couldn't jot the number down because her mouth was all full of young <laughs> intern mule. <laughs> Young right. intern mule. Not Without a 15, thought of a buck in her head. Not not a thought of 15 years slaving in this motherfucking <laughs> business. <laughs> not one thought. Oh, no. Not one thought about a social life thrown out <laughs> to be good in comedy. Not one thought. Why would you think about that when there's abs and a smile? You, oh, why would you? Uh, you might as well add that you were on VH1 this past oh, weekend. Oh, who cares? MTV you, Pilots, the Opie and Anthony show, the Tonight Show does it. None you of had it a quick means. scene in Spider-Man. You know, I guess. It is as meaningless <laughs> as I've been telling you for all these years. Yeah. It's drivel. <laughs> so we chat briefly on the phone. The only thing Noah has going for him is good DNA. Good looking guy. <laughs> Very <laughs> handsome right. guy. And a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I like Noah. You've got a great resume. He's got good DNA. Yeah, That's but what it comes down to. Yes. <laughs> I have a mediocre resume and he has great DNA. <laughs> but it's one of many times I've lost a good looking guy. Right. It's just the way it goes. So it's she gave you a jingle back? Well, no, she, she actually answered what I called. Oh, okay. So I'm talking to her for a second. I'm like, so how you doing? And she's like, cool. I'm like, yeah, I would like to hang. And she's like, well, that could be arranged, which I immediately like. Uh-huh. Talk business. Business. Yeah, I'm not some dummy who's like, hey, I think she, you know, please. I'm 36 and she's 20. Uh huh. This is what made me want to just spit peas at her. I'm like, all right, well, let's talk about it. And she's like, well, I'm working for so-and-so. And she quoted the price. And I almost threw the phone out the window. <laughs> She wanted a grand. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That she was given the A intern. grand to have sex with That she was given the intern for well, well, free. Well, no. After, to, be, to be fair. The intern. I said, look, that, that can't happen. It's too right. much. And then to be fair, she did say that she would do it for 500 Which is Five quite a break hundred. when you think of the 23-year-old good-looking guy getting it for free. All weekend, and, by the all way. Weekend. All weekend Not load. just an hour of her time. Not just one load from you. Like a free play. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was a free play weekend. I, uh, how many? Could you find out how many times Noah had sex for free with the porn star? I really want to rub this in today because I'm such an ass. Maybe Wait. add it up in dollars and cents. <laughs> right. How much free sex he did get? Oh, and how much? As opposed to how much it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what it would it would have uh, run. cost me a pretty penny. Oh, and Ben. Been talking for the first time in a week. Yes, six sir. times. <laughs> All right. Wow. So even with a discounted rate, yeah, that would have been three thousand for her to put herself through the torture <laughs> of sleeping with awful Jim Norton for an hour. That's the no, only. No, no, no. Well, it's it's. It's, oh, it's for an hour. hour. It's not kidding. For an, it's hour. for an hour. But, you know, it's yeah, it's one load, though, usually, yeah. right? Well, they call it cups in the business. They could have one or two cups. cups. I don't know how they work it. <laughs> an hour for me, I've never gotten off more than one. For me, as soon as it's done, yeah. beat it. So and that's they, why, that's where he's doing the math, so it would have cost him three. The only thing that annoyed me, it wasn't the, the, the money issue. That's fine. It was the amount that she wanted. It's like, are you fucking right. crazy? You were just in here. It's like, you know something? It's It's like... We, we shared something professionally. It's like, how about a little discounted rate? Uh, and it's if like you the guy me, you know at the car dealer. If you tell me a 1000 of 500 is discounted, I'll vomit on my own shoes. That's not a discount. You think I don't know how the business works? You quote high, you don't know how much money the guy has. Right. Oh, I'll do it for 500 <clears throat> But, you know, you could have, she could have, if she would have said 200 for just, you know, a little bit, not full, I would have said, yeah, all right. So it wasn't the amount that she wanted to, that she wanted to charge you. That I really didn't care about. I don't take that. It's person. like a businessman that uh, you've done business with him before, which is what she did here Absolutely. on our show. And then taking care of you, like I said, at the car dealership, the guy goes, "Hey, I could give you a little off on this." Absolutely. Thing. And and she was so repulsed that yes. she could not even bring it down to a normal. And she rate. couldn't even think in business terms of the amount of plugs I would have given her. I would have right. been Pete Plug. I would, all I would have talked about. Unfortunately, is- she was horrified by the one plug you would have given her. <laughs> 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 that the other ones didn't really matter anymore. Oh, 
Oh and my as God. revolting as this is, it's almost good because I tell you, people think I'm exaggerating or I'm crazy. It is exactly I, the way things are. I completely understand, and I I feel for you, Jimmy. Don't. It's just my no, life. No, I do. What am I, 36? This type of stuff has been going on since probably the age of 12. Right now, I am Bob Kelly, and you are that little midget with the hands flailing in front of you. Ooh, I'm she it. likes me. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Free for the intern. One thousand dollars discounted to five hundred. That that's that's what it's just a kick to the old fat appendix scar stomach. Now I understand how you operate sometimes, and uh, something like this could really throw Jimmy for a loop. Jimmy's an emotional guy sometimes. He, he lets he gets the, these things get to him. Mm -hmm. How did you then deal with this sort of rejection? Uh, for the rest of your weekend. Um, well, I handled it pretty well, uh, considering that night I finally called one of my regulars. I did break down. You did break down. Broke down. I told you I'd be honest when I did, if yeah. I did. Uh, so how many days did you last? Maybe a week. A week. Oh, yeah, I think it was last Monday, right? It went about a week. A week. Hey, you know week. what the good thing is, though? What? You did save yourself some cash. I saved myself a lot of cash. It's not like if you fall off the wagon and go to a whore... Uh, that you then have to pay the whores that you would have slept with. You know, you, that yes. money is money in the bank. And the girl I wound up hooking up with is a girl I've hooked up with many times. She might be, she's definitely in the top three. She might be the best I've ever. So this one, wow. it, was, that, it was fine. Yeah. It's not, if I could see her just like once in a while, I'd be totally cool with it. It's my obsession. Because uh -huh. then the next night I'm at the comedy cellar and who comes down but my friend Dennis Hoff who owns the Bunny Ranch. Um, he's oh. a good buddy of mine. That's a good buddy to have. I love, he's been inviting me out for a year. I haven't been able to go. Uh, we're gonna do a contest with him and I and he goes hey man We hang out for a while. I'm gonna drop him off his hotel and he goes hey man I know this real cheap place. Like, let, let me treat you Now oh. who can say no to a treat a treat? What am I insulting? No, so we go I didn't like the vibe of this place though It was upstairs it was like three guys that could have been Latin Kings or Mexican Mafia guys just sitting right. up there But I wind up going into the room with some southern girl Dennis pays and she performs rather toothy oral treats on me <laughs> But I tipped her 50 to take the bag off and, uh, and, she, <laughs> and she drooled into my ass crack like that little short-handed nothing playing harmonica. That's what it was like. Oh. That little midget, woo, those little <laughs> arms. She should have been playing harmonica over my balls. That's how it would have been. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. Oh, man. And the only part with this other this girl I didn't like was I went to kiss her shoulder, and oh. it smelled like somebody's bad breath. Like, obviously, some dirtbag had been in there had licking the same her idea. shoulder. Yeah. Apparently, I'm not Ralph Romantic. I thought that was my original idea. No, that's unbelievable. Some mess had been there before you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, was, I had rejection all weekend. I'll tell you more. I, I don't know when we're going to break. I have to urinate very badly, but I had more rejection. I, I have to urinate. Did you have really professional too, rejection but... also or something? You, you, you said that. Well, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, we'll go. He just, I want to get to this thing first. I thought he was upset at. Uh... Yeah, well, well, I don't, well. The Billy right. Crystal thing you went through, oh, that's yeah. all. Yeah, see, devastating. some stuff like that. There's all kinds of devastation in his life this weekend. But, I feel bad for Jimmy. Uh, we do want to talk about that, but I want to play uh, the phone call from Jim's mom, everybody. Oh, yeah. Do we have to oh, do this yeah. now? Can I pee? Uh, I wish Kiss would come in to hold you oh, after really this weekend. Right now. That way, it's, just been, it's not even been a bad on the outside weekend. You look at it, you go, ah, so what? Your life is right. good. My life is good. But it's just these things are confirmations of what I already know. You understand what I mean? It's almost yeah. like if you think you're the werewolf, and no, oh, you're not a werewolf, you're a good person, and then you wake up with like blood under your fingernails and a little fur on your pillow. <laughs> it's just, it's not devastating in itself, but you know you're you a werewolf. You know you're a werewolf. For me, it's the same thing, except I'm shit. You start feeling good about yourself, just where you are in life, yes. your career, everything that's going on for, for yourself, and then something happens where you just, once again, you go, up ah, there. See? Yep. I knew it. Jimmy Robinson That's had a, a point. Oh. With his little cape. Him and Helen were absolutely I right. I hate that kid. Hate him. Feel so hate him. I, All right, we could do I part two bad. after the break. Yeah, I got to whiz bad. Let, Just, him, let him whiz. We have a phone call from Jim's mom. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, I haven't laughed this hard. And <laughs> I, I couldn't tell oh, you. No. I, uh, oh. I, I listened to the first 10 seconds of Jim Norton's mom's phone yeah. call to Jim. A concerned parent. I, I, I had to stop the, the the tape, and I had to laugh for about ten straight minutes. Nice, wonderful lady, a lot like my mother. The way yep. she talks to her son about things, very, very loving. concerned, loving. And then you know, your son is Jimmy, or your son is the guy that made a couple have sex in a church. Yeah, it's just those those instances where your mom can just remain so sweet trying to guide you and you're just a
piece of crap. Well, as a parent, how do you acknowledge to yourself that you did your best and the thing that you, you sweated for your whole life still likes to lie on the floor with bags and have his chest shit on? How do you accept that <laughs> as a rational, loving parent? You don't. You put it in your head and you, you try to twist it into something else. Yeah, well, that's got to be a real uh, that's gotta well, be a real downer. Your mom left a message on your machine and she's just casually talking about your whoring. Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing. That a it's mother amazing, has amazing. to do that. <laughs> that a mother has to do and that. And it's the same tone, like, I'm worried about you. You know, are you, have you been studying yeah, for you, the are SAT? You, are, you, uh, are you eating enough? Are you, eating are you getting enough? enough sleep? Are you taking your vitamins? It's that same tone, right. but they're, but she's talking about whoring with her son. Oh. It's unbelievable. The only reason we're not playing it here is because, like Jim said, I have to take a leak like well, you unbelievable. Let's go together. All right, we'll go together. Getting back back to the uh, subject at hand, this is the course. funny part. Ben uh, comes running in the studio. Mm -hmm. After that last break, the first email he gets is from a guy named Ricky. It just says, hello, Ben. I attached my resume with the email. Thank you very much. And, of course, the subject line says internship. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to be an intern. Well, uh, everyone wants to be an intern on the Opie and Anthony show. Now that they know we get you laid. Yeah, but, uh, you know. With yeah, hot, well, young porn stars from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of interns uh, around here that uh, didn't go home with candy. Right. You know? It, uh, just because you're an intern doesn't make a difference. I mean, uh, you know, you have to. She was the one that was attracted to him. She sure was. Yeah. Uh, let's just say no is not the first intern that got some action because of this no, radio show. Of course not. That's all I'm saying. But you know, five hundred. There's a there's a whole room full of guys in there. A whole room full of eager guys just waiting for their ch chance at the porn star. Yeah, <laughs> a half a thousand. Half a thousand. And Norton, uh, you know, to bang the same porn star that the intern did for free would have cost the gym at a at a reduced rate five hundred dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. Ugh. So the whoring is back on. Nah, I'm going to try to uh, stop that. All kidding aside, Norton is trying to give up whoring. Mm -hmm. Spends a lot of money on it. Right. So I want to buy an apartment just because, I, I mean, it's like I'm sick of paying rent. Sometimes you got to buy, <clears throat> you know, it's like a mortgage. I got to get a right. mortgage. And, and I, I'm, I, I'm okay, but it's, I don't want to keep wasting money. Mm -hmm. So uh, you lasted about a week this time around. That's not bad. It's a, it's, that's a start. Yeah, I suppose so. Because I know you're pretty much doing it every night, right? Yeah. I was on Craigslist last night because I didn't sleep. I slept till 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, so I did what I normally do on Sunday nights, which is just stay up. And I'm online, and I'm actually writing on my stupid blog finally, and I, I just, you know, I'm like, I can't go to bed, so. All right, so it didn't work out with Candy, Ugh, no. obviously, so then you had to get one anyway, and and she was pretty awful. Got two, yeah. Oh, no, no, got... she was great. The one I got was great. Oh, you got two the, of them. No, the, the, my regular was fantastic. The one Dennis bought me, she was nice, but again, she gave, an, she gave like a nice drool hummer. A little toothy for my taste, but she couldn't even fake that she was enjoying it. She's so depressed to be there from the oh, south. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really was bummed out with her bad breath on her shoulder from some awful drunk who was licking her shoulder. Probably Mom. whispering, Mommy, in her oh, ear. Oh, God. <laughs> Although, let me be honest. This. If I knew this girl was going to run right back to Noah's place, I would have spent the 500 I absolutely would have put a batch in her hair. Oh. <laughs> Just as a fine how do you do? Oh, I would have sent her back. With like Statue of Liberty hair. <laughs> Is there an awkwardness between you and the intern uh, now? Nah, not at all. Not at all. No, between guys like that, never. Okay. Absolutely not. So yeah, the the whoring thing. I thought he was gay, actually. Yeah, we all we all that. thought he was gay. I'm glad to know he's not. Oh wow, well, there was that uh, that uh, whole. We forgot thing to bring around. that up when uh, Candy goes. Uh, you know, wow, that Noah is a cute intern. We're all kind of no offense, Noah, but we're all kind of laughing like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. But that's the whole guy response to a. Uh, 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 Good-looking good guy being around. You know? Yeah, they go. Ah, right. oh, uh, you must be gay. Yeah, we kind of. Not that it matters. We kind of thought maybe you were really no problems here, guys. There are some rumors. Break out uh, rent, boys. Let's let's hold chapters. <laughs> Throw them at me. He's feeling very confident today. <laughs> uh, cocky, if you will. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Well, we learned a little something yeah. about you. Thanks. Not that it matters, but we were thinking maybe out of all the interns that you might have been the one. I'm sure one of them is. <laughs> You're sure one of them is. They're all looking at each other. Oh man, shaking their heads. I was. I always hope the best looking one is gay. That's the one you root for. I don't care how much pussy Nathaniel tries to get. Take it out of the mix. That six foot eight young Frankenstein looking psychopath. No one cares about him. Jeez. Just lumbering in there with like a checkered shirt. Actually, it's down to Nathaniel and Derek because we know Danny's not either. 
I'm yeah. just saying. We just know. <laughs> All right. Well, I want I want to see I want to see Nathaniel and Derek take out their mules and do a little man to man docking. <laughs> docking. And see who enjoys it that much more. Yeah, just see who gets a rod first. <laughs> that one would be guilty as charged. If we didn't have the new rule on the show where we can't get the interns laid, uh, you know, yeah. we would figure something out. But who who are we rule. kidding? We're not listening to the gang in Washington. New rule. All right, so, uh, yeah, the whoring has become a subject on this show with Norton because he really wants to stop. And um, I guess the, your mom and dad listen to the program every day? I knew that would be a mistake, too. I knew it. Why? They listened to the show when it was for free, didn't they? Yeah, I know, I know. I just knew it, though. Like, I knew yeah. You can't let your parents listen. You know, it's just sex I've lost from regular girls. Because when I talk about it on the air, when I write on the computer, I mean, it's just there's no girl wants to date me after hearing this. How can they? Oh. Well, your mom's very concerned, and she left a little message on your machine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll be able to play it all the way through. Yeah. It's just a sweet mother concerned about her son. All right, here's the tape. Hi, sweetheart. It's Mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here, but I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening. Um, uh, ladies of uh, the evening. Uh, <laughs> this is where I stopped the tape earlier. I'm going to lose it again. <laughs> is that... Because it's your mom. You know, she doesn't want to say whores or hookers or yeah. <laughs> ladies of the evening. Ladies of the like, evening. Like she read that in one of her novels, you know. Oh. One of those romantic novels where they make everything yeah. all nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I know you're trying to give up partaking in the world's oldest profession. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any guilt on your part about what your parents have to think well, I feel bad that I'm so honest, but no, I no guilt. I yeah. love my parents. I get along great with my parents. No, no, I don't. I've hung out guilt. with Jimmy's parents. They are the nicest, the nicest oh, yeah. sweetest no, people I, you'll ever I, I meet. I know, but the, the fact that they even have to make phone calls like this. Yeah, I do feel a little bad. Not only that, but her mom has to look at my mom has to look at her like her librarian friends. Right. Comes a librarian. She just retired. She's a librarian. She's got a librarian. Make eye contact. Oh, your son. Toilet chest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I gotta start this over again. Yeah, let's, let's... Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. Sweetheart. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening, um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? <laughs> Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. <laughs> Dr. Phil? How does Dr. Phil get into this? I don't know. I, I she, don't know. Because well, she's a mom. She watches Dr. Phil. She picks up some tidbits of psychiatry and decides she's going to help her boy. I have to know what Dr. Phil says about weak-chinned man with fat tits and prostitute habits. <laughs> what does Dr. Phil say about that? What would Dr. Phil say there? Oh. Mom. She, oh. got, she gets her advice from Dr. Phil, and she's going to pass it along to her little son. <laughs> little Jimmy. Get off those uh, ladies of the night. It's a good thing. Jimmy Keeping Robin it positive. Jimmy Robinson and Helen say that if you want to replace uh. something... <laughs> God, am I an ass? <laughs> you want to replace Monster Rain? <laughs> oh. um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. Oh, <laughs> oh she's trying to kill two birds with one stone here, isn't she? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. There's gyms in New York. The nice gym you have downstairs. You have a nice gym downstairs. If Instead of banging any... a hooker for 20 minutes, why don't you jump on the treadmill? Anything could have been downstairs. <laughs> Zarkawi's beheading equipment. You could go down there, just lop off the head of, of, of an imperialist. <laughs> just, you know, replace it with something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing in my sleep Dr. tonight. Dr. Phil. could go. You could exercise. And uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight. You'd tone up. Mm. And you relieve, you know, tension and stuff. And you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody. <laughs> you could work out, tone up. I 
I wouldn't have to be embarrassed to be seen with you. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could not look like Philip Seymour Hoffman in Boogie Nights when you wear a half shirt. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling me to tone up. Let's translate that. Maybe if you got in the gym, no wouldn't have gotten a fucker for free, fat tits. <laughs> That's what she's saying. <laughs> Maybe if you had a little stick to itiveness, you wouldn't have to cough up a thousand or five hundred. Oh. Oh. <laughs> get off the hooker, get on a bow flex, mom. <laughs> and she said you can get rid of some energy, which I know what she's saying. Yeah. Like that, that energy I have that, that goes into bad things could be yes. used for. Working out. Lifting a barbell. Tone up a little bit. <laughs> Lift dumbbells. Don't fuck them. <laughs> That's what mom's trying to say. <laughs> Pick up weights. Don't don't lose it because you have AIDS. <laughs> I'm drooling. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Try the clean and snatch, <laughs> not the dirty snatch. Do some rowing, not hoeing. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. God, if I knew more gym equipment, I could make this a bit longer. <laughs> See? What a lazy you gotta fat get nothing. In the gym. Yeah, put a barbell. <laughs> <laughs> this bit doesn't need to be longer. It is what it is. Oh. Be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just I'm thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So uh, don't get offended yeah. or think I'm strange. But I am a mother, and I worry about you. Yeah. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help. It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? Aww. I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Everything's falling into place except for, you know, your penis <laughs> and that candy girl. But everything else is falling into place. Your tits are falling onto your stomach. Your ass is falling onto your thighs. Don't worry about candy. After all, she is a whore. <laughs> so what that Noah's got a better smile and better oh. abs? You can always go to the gym and tone up. I wonder what Dr. Phil says about me eating a bullet. No! Oh, oh Jimmy. I have such nice, normal parents. They're unbelievable. They're just they nice, really are unbelievable. normal people. They just want to spend time with Jimmy, and Jimmy blows them off. I don't blow them off. I just, you know, I lived at home until I was 30. I feel bad. I'm a bad son. Hi, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, I love you. Hi, it's our Bud Dwyer. <laughs> just take that with you. That's what I did. I felt a little bad because I couldn't get the whore. <laughs> One in the mouth. Works fine. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Kurt Cobain. <laughs> That'll take care of everything. Oh, that is really awful. Oh. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm just devoid of worth. That's nice, though. Your mommy calls you like that. Yeah. To talk about whoring. My parents you feel always better. made me nice messages, you know? Yeah. How are you? I just, it was just, uh, it was just when she said, ladies of the evening, and then Dr. Phil and tone up. Tone up. You could tone up. Yeah, read between the lines. She's almost saying, like, look, I understand why you have to go to whores. Do a sit-up. <laughs> She's basically taking the side of women in general. Yeah. Saying yeah. you might want to go to the gym and tone up. That, you read between the lines. She's being nice because it's your mom and she loves you. Yes. But really what is being said there is, look, you disgusting pervert. Why don't you <laughs> go to the gym? Get your mind off the whores for a second and pick up something besides a sandwich. That's what mom is saying, but she says it in that nice mom way. In a mom Dr. Way. Phil, you know, did we get rid of something, replace something, which is, uh, you know, what I want to do. Jimmy, I've been listening to Dr. Phil, and he says when you get rid of something to get something. So could you not be my son anymore, and Noah will be? 
Is that at all possible? We'd like to get rid of you and have a nice, attractive son that can get the whore for free. <laughs> oh. Noah coughs and he works out his ab muscles. It really you is know? depressing. It's just coughing into a six-pack. Probably stretches. He has that little V going down. He has a little V that goes under the abs, over the <laughs> the pubis. <laughs> oh, so that way, all the all the whores for free can say, "Hey, where is it? Yeah, just no- follow the V." Oh no, I should be paying you. Tee hee hee. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's that Jimmy Norton on the phone. Two grand, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he's gone. He shan't be calling back. <laughs> Why shouldn't I charge him? He has a string of palopenes. <laughs> God, am I worthless? <laughs> oh, candy. Hi, sweetheart. It's Mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening. Um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Yeah. Use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. You could exercise. And uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight. You'd tone up. And you relieve, you know, tension and stuff. And you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just, I'm thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So, uh, don't get offended or think I'm strange, but I am a mother and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help, it would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't get enough of that clip. I love that That one. phone call from little Jimmy Norton's mom. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? Uh, if you tuned in, uh, well, turned on your radios, I should say. Overnight, you just missed one of the best shows yesterday. Sucks to be you. you you'll have to wait for the replay, I guess. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. This is the show that everyone wants to intern for. Oh, I know. <laughs> we ben was giving me the stats, and uh, it's amazing. Yeah, I guess uh, the intern applications went through the roof after yesterday's show. I don't blame anyone after uh, what happened yesterday. Basically, our intern Danny, it turns out, banged the porn star uh, from... I, I mean, Noah, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, oh, my God, are you kidding? <laughs> I'm sorry, Noah. No, Danny did something else, and that's why everyone wants to intern for yeah. this show. Allegedly. Anyway, yeah, Noah uh, banged the porn star from Cherry Darts last Friday. We did that, and uh, Noah t- takes the porn star home. Mm-hmm. He's just an intern living in a crappy apartment in Hoboken, and then he gets to bang a porn star all weekend. All weekend long. And then too. old Jimmy Norton wanted to do the same exact thing, but it was going to cost him a thousand bucks. I laughed all night. I'm sorry. I actually lost <laughs> lost sleep over this <laughs> this whole thing yesterday. It really was pressing on my mind, also, Jimmy. I just couldn't get it out of my head. There I were, felt very bad. There were a couple times I just woke up in the middle of the night and just started giggling just to giggled. myself. Oh yeah, oh. like I I could not believe. What happened to you yesterday? Watching TV, you just. Free for you, but not for you. Free. And then Spooge Demon from somethingawful.com. Ooh. Remember that website from yes. Justin? Part of the Cherry Darts thing? He uh, has a whole Scott Peterson mom thing here. He does. Yeah, hi, Scott. It's mom. Glad to hear you're giving up killing wives and unborn children. But Dr. Phil says. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Dr. Phil says when you get rid of your wife, you have to get rid of your little unborn son, Connor, too. You know, I I worry about you with the cinder blocks and the rowboats. And, you know, Dr. Phil says when a carcass washes up on shore that you're fucked. <laughs> I miss you, Scott. Daddy loves you. We watch your movie. Uh, Pearl Harbor and Jiggly. Come on, we love it. 
You don't think you look like Ben Affleck? <laughs> yes, okay. Mommy thinks you look like Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Should never go for three. <laughs> That's still good. <laughs> you know what we should do for Brian is play uh, Norton's mom's phone call. Get, I would love that. get Brian Regan's uh, take on this because Brian is uh, probably the polar opposite of our fine Jim Norton here. Uh, Married, children, Jim responsible, great, adult. No, I don't mean. Uh, well, yeah, he is great, but his personal life is a little different than yours, oh, Brian. Personal life. Oh yeah. Um, Norton talks about. Uh, Hookers a lot on this show. Yeah, the ladies of the evening, if you will, and yes, uh, love of them and hate of them at the same oh, time. Like and a simultaneous. Um, yeah, spends a lot of money on this uh, hobby. <laughs> right. And uh, well, I guess it was about two weeks ago now. Uh, Jim came in here and told us all that he wants to swear off hookers, Brian. All right. He wants to turn over a new leaf. He wants to try to find a lady. Nice. Maybe have a couple kids like yourself. Maybe move out to uh, you know Vegas and, and and start a nice little home life for well, himself. Good, good luck with that quest. Thanks. He That's lasted great. four days, by the way. Oh, if you're, <laughs> keep it dry. Well, it's already <laughs> over with. Huh? Okay. Oh, I'm yeah. starting again. I'm on like two days now. Yeah, he's starting again. He's up to two days, so it's okay. good, right? I want to buy a place. I'm just dumping my money in the prostitutes. It's sickening. So, um... Brian, uh, Brian uh, Jim's mom called <laughs> Jim and left a message. Okay. And of course, now Jim doing radio full time with us decided this would be great for the radio. <laughs> and he brought in the phone call from his mom. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I'd <laughs> okay. love to. Not quite a call you would get from your mom. Yeah, I don't think you've ever gotten a call like this from your mom, Brian. Well, let me see. All right, let's take a listen here. Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here, but I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening, um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better. Use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. You could exercise and uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight. You'd tone up and you relieve, you know, tension and stuff. And you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So uh, <laughs> don't get offended or think I'm strange. But I am a mother and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help. It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Man. There you go, Brian's actually very nice. Well, that is sweet. Feel the love <laughs> coming through. Yeah, she loves you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get along. That's what great. I got out of that. <laughs> Ladies of the evening. Ladies of the that. evening. Doctor <laughs> Phil, you know. And she's telling me when she's like, you better, you know, you could tone up a little. She's like, look, I've seen you. I understand why you have to pay, stupid, but for financial reasons, do a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> she figures she's giving advice anyway. She might as well hit a few different topics. Yeah, right. you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong to get horse, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what else I, I just picked up uh, this time around was Attention? the fact that it, no, it, oh. it's not only uh, getting rid of the whores, the ladies of the evening, and working out uh, and relieving the tension, but meeting new people at the gym. Yeah, maybe. I kind of uh, I just picked up on that one. Maybe she wants you to to meet some new. Your future people. girlfriend could be on a stairmaster right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what she's saying. You could go meet some yeah. people and relieve yeah. some tension. And, You're you know, gonna meet down at the gym. You stop know? being a filthy embarrassment to the entire family. <laughs> I just can't airways. picture you in the gym. Like, hi, yeah. my name's Jimmy. You <laughs> are. How is Christmas gonna be after this phone call? Gonna be a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of avoided eye contact. <laughs> <Right. call. laughs> so you just keep looking at the plate of food. Man, this is good. And just keep cutting. <laughs> more ham, <laughs> more ham. <laughs> mm, man, oh man, I can't even pick my head up from this. <laughs> Hungry enough to eat a whore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so brian i don't think you've ever had a phone call like that from mom huh uh no i haven't but uh mm. you know but god bless <laughs> <laughs> it's nice though you could feel like you know she cares a lot about jimmy but you know what they could have gone the other direction where she was like all angry and upset i mean it was like mm -hmm. it was cool that uh 
Or she could have encouraged me to get more. Like, look, don't listen to them. Do you got to pay <laughs> oh, to get wow. it sucked? Who cares? Who's looking? <laughs> you need any extra money, I'll, I'll <laughs> chip in for you. What do you think your father does when I'm tired? <laughs> <laughs> They're all natural and normal. There's no need to feel awkward about it. Right. They're listening. Hey, do we have an update from Noah? Are you still banging Candy, the porn star? Oh, she's probably back in Cleveland. I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing that th there may be an update, and this is kind of a soap opera, the Opie and sure. Anthony show. I guess if uh, you're just tuning in the program, well, God, we're seeing the numbers. A lot of people tuning in every day, Anthony. Mm -hmm. So maybe a lot of people don't know that. Wow, are these the latest pictures from yeah. Candy? Yeah, she's got some new uh, sites up at LADirectmodels.com. Wow, so I'm giving her a plug. You are giving her a plug, aren't you? <laughs> I'm allowed. <laughs> you the first time. You bang this. Yeah. For free. Very nice. Thanks, Jimmy. Very this is impressive. the same girl that was in the studio? Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's take a little look. See. see. I don't think she photographs as well as she looks in person. Totally nude. Totally nude. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, how old oh, is that? Oh, hello. There's a fine how do you do. Well, we saw that how do you do uh, yeah. during cherry darts. Right from the How back. old is she again? 20? 20. Yeah. yeah, 20. Candy is a porn star. She's new to the business and only been doing it a, a short period of time. And... Uh, She's from Cleveland, and she came and did some stuff for the radio show. That's lovely. Look what you uh, would have had to pay for, And uh, Nope, I ain't looking. <laughs> oh, he's not looking. And um, Jimmy took a liking to her. Mm -hmm. she's, a, she's a very lovely girl. We don't really dig the porn stars usually. Yeah. But this one is uh, fresh off the boat. We like them when they're brand new porn stars. And she looks pretty good. She looks really good, actually. And uh, Jim was, uh, I think it's safe to say you were hoping you could spend some time with her. You, went, you went for the freebie. No, we never went for the freeway. No, well, you we had her grabbing your junk on the air. But I even told you that, that was like I'm like no, I'm like that's I'm not deluded as to what that but is. But she grabbed your mule my... and she turned uh, kind of red. She was really into it. No, I think wasn't. you were hoping that perhaps after the show you could say, hey, you want to grab a cup of coffee or something. No, that, I kind of no? knew. No, I'll tell you why because when she first came in. The story got brought up about how I like to spend a lot of money. She's like, what about me? And I knew immediately that oh, was the place. Oh, that was just about to No, pass. I was never deluded about that. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. I just didn't like the price she quoted me. Yeah, that was the only thing that annoyed steep. me. Well, the only steep. thing that annoyed me. Yeah, uh, if yeah, Jim would have to spend uh, what a thousand dollars to sleep with Candy, the porn star. Oh, cool G. Near the end of the show, uh, Candy decided that Noah, our intern here, was really cute. She had mm -hmm. a thing for Noah, the intern. Yes. No offense, Noah, but you know that's your title, the intern. Yeah. He's a huge comic that was on Jay Leno. Oh yeah, Tonight Show. He was on the Tonight Show, and you're an intern uh, technically, okay? And uh, Jim thought, you know, he could spend some time with Candy and uh, spend some money on Candy. Spend some money on Candy, and uh, it was going to cost you a thousand. And then she, she said, uh, uh, she cut you a price of five hundred, right? Which I thought was very reasonable. And as you're trying to uh, negotiate this, mm -hmm. Noah, the intern's banging her for free. Yeah, that just shows. You. But it does go to prove every being funny is worthless on every level. Oh, it really is. No. I'm telling you, it's wor it is of no value. You get girls that want to be your friend. Uh, exactly. That's what you get by being funny. A bunch of fatos that like me. Yeah. Make me laugh. Ugh. Bag hags that kind of also like funny guys. Oh. That's pretty much it. So Noah brought candy back to Hoboken and bagged her all weekend long. <clears throat> Although, however, had I known that, I actually would have spent the 500 if I knew she was going right back after. Just for a Hummer, and I would have left some honor. Just as leave a, a little. A, 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 yeah. <laughs> leave a little of Jimmy uh, as, uh, honor for the yeah. trip back. As we can goal. dream. Maybe <laughs> someday. You know, perhaps, and this isn't out of the question, perhaps she was doing this to get free kind of room uh, while she worked in New York because she was going to jobs when she was staying with you. Yeah, that was the best part about it. In between Bang and Noah, she was going on, yeah, going, you know, the, on real the jobs. The cell phone rings. She goes, oh, I got to go. She's gone for an hour, you know, a couple hours. She comes back. She was taking care of another guy. And then uh, she comes back to Noah's house. How many times did you bang her in the weekend? Yeah, like six. But she had to cross the river every time, and she came back like two or three times, so the theory doesn't really hold up there. Man. No? no she, she had a was... hotel room and everything, so it's kind of a hassle. To she did have a hotel room? Yeah, yeah okay. she told us she had a hotel That's room. What I was just no, she liked a little... She, she, she just really liked, liked Noah. Oh, I cleared out. Oh, why, 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 what's so hard why to wouldn't believe? she? Because I absolutely... What's so like hard to believe? I'll tell you what's so like hard... I walked off the set of Smallville. But she's a porn But she's a porn star. Yeah, I, I have this. Uh, but she's uh, a young porn porn star, a porn star, not quite jaded. I just don't think porn stars in general uh, like people. 
in that way. I don't think she's been. Like she knows how to enough. separate the sex. Like she was really into the sex with Noah, and then she was doing the sex on the side to make yeah. some extra cash. And that was a little bizarre to Not me. Not jaded enough yet. All right. So, so uh, are you guys uh, keeping in touch? Still? Yeah, we keep in touch. She sends me little text messages that are just nasty. Oh. Pretty much amounts of phone sex. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, my jacket. Sex. Top. Yeah. Right. This this pocket. What does she say on the uh, phone? You know, you'll. I'll, I'm not nervous about it. I'll show it to you. They're nasty. They're just really? brutal. Yeah. Do you like it though? Yeah. I got a little cold though over the week. That's why I was out on Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh that's the. Oh boy. Oh, oh. If sure that's the only cold? thing. No, if that's the only thing I walk away from last weekend, I think I win. That little thing where you stand over the toilet, your dick sneezes green stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's next. It, it always starts with a little cold. Oh, a little. Scratch. Oh, just a little Scratchy sniffle. Throat. My throat's a little scratchy. <laughs> I, I, tell me you weren't thinking like uh -oh. I must be coming down no, with something. Uh, yeah. You What's know. the incubation period? Right. No, you stand in front of the mirror for a couple hours, examining every little bump, and you're like, See? Is that, I, is that, <laughs> that's not what I think it is, is it? It starts with a little cold, no, and then right. you're wondering, well, what was this girl oh, about dude. after all? She's getting tested this uh, this week. And she's going to do some work. Give you the uh, news? Oh, Jesus. All right. Are you no, a no, little nervous? No, no, no. Are you a little nervous about this, Noah? Uh, I mean, her test is coming in, and wait, that's no, not age. There's no age. It wouldn't be that fast. It doesn't work that fast. Wait, no. It Can takes, you tell? Does it take like a while to? It takes about years. ten years. Well, no. I mean, like to show up in a test if you do a blood, the, the HIV thing, not the. Look at he's asking questions. Oh, Dude, I don't know. I don't what know. stupid thing did you do? Assuming that's it was okay. It. We're oral fine. sex. Yeah, well, that, some of that. You had some oral, right? Yeah. And without a condom. Without a, a dental dental dam. Dental dam. Those are romantic. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. Who the, hell has, dental who the hell has ever used one of those? No one. Uh, here, Get in here. there and mix it up. Right. It's just a you little some spit fun with and this. fluid. Um, All right, we're looking at Noah's phone for the text messages from yeah, Candy, the I'm porn star from you... Cleveland. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. Oh, oh, good one. Yeah. Starting from uh, from this one, 15 to all these all these that are locked. All the 15, the 15 and... I'm, like, uh, I'm saving them. I'm awful. Yeah. No, you should save them. Are you kidding me? Very yeah, romantic. <laughs> Go to the thanks now. What do you do? Hit OK? Uh, uh, yeah, that's one and up. Thanks now. The rest of my day will be filled with thoughts of you, wet and soapy. No, that's... Never mind. Water <laughs> running down your body, <laughs> dripping onto so many places. I'd like to be touching. Uh, Damn you. <laughs> what, did you shower in front of her or something? I think it came up in conversation. All right, how do I go to the... So do Just I get that O'Reilly? Go to the next Go spot? to 14? Bill O'Reilly? I'd like to attack you with a loofah, no? A loofah in the shower. <laughs> I, I want to read all these because it'll drive Norton nuts. No, it won't. A lo yes, it will. <laughs> right. Who are you kidding? Your dick filling my mouth. I start slowly, then wrap my lips a bit Jesus. tighter, sucking water, <laughs> allowing you to slide into my mouth deep and quickly over and over again. Are you reading something or just talking to Noah? Yeah. <laughs> He's still searching the text. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want me to read? Okay. Uh, you tense slightly and arch your back, grabbing my wet hair, forcing me. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> Forcing yourself deeper down my throat, you moan loudly that you want to come in my mouth. Ooh, that's nice. All right. That's nice. And it continues. You're a bit weak, shaky even, but I don't stop. I suck vigorously. You scream, lightly letting yourself explode in my mouth. I, sw I swallow, sucking greedily, wanting more. Opie? Please isolate some um, of this. Please. It is the... Just want to remind you, we are in the free play week. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, but they said just no uh, no live sex acts. I want you inside of me, thrusting deep, making me so moist, you slid in with such ease, my warm, wet... This wasn't such a good idea. Quite graphic <laughs> depictions. Oh, really? I would think. Constricting you to stay inside, taunting you to F me harder. I think we found our cliffhanger. If you want to hear the rest of oh. Noah the Intern's text messages, make sure you sign up for the channel and continue listening on Monday. When it culminates in some there's another sticky mess. There's another 10. I love the way you make me scream. We could say that, yeah. right? Yeah. That, that can mean anything. 
All caps. Anything? Uh, is there? Are there any messages about balloon not action? All right, wait. Something's going on here because now she just writes, "Not too shabby. You're getting better at this." So you're writing back to her. I gave it a shot. I'm awful at that sort uh -oh, of thing. Oh, you tried talking dirty over the text. And uh, she's being polite here. She's. I she's, think I erased it. I'm not. She's, even she says, you "Not that too product. shabby. You're getting better at this." Oh, uh, what did you come on? What did you say? It was some. It was a worthless shot. I think it was something about oral sex. I gave it a try. You spill my coffee and I pour <laughs> hot <laughs> coffee on your tits. <laughs> No? I've never been good at that whole thing. Come on, what did you say? Cyber Dirty. thing. Uh, it's something about like a, a leaky member in places that <laughs> don't belong. Ah, that's good. <laughs> cleaning it up for you people. No, what you say? Say it, it's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll search for it. It's probably in my uh, outbox. Uh, I'm actually quite worked up now, a bit wet to I'll say the least, the exact and thing. no panties is making public masturbation possible. Hmm. All right. My fingers are inside my... All right. Well, hey. <laughs> Let him find the alcohol. He's still got it on the Yeah, I want to see what he was writing. Right. Right. I'm really going to nail myself. His to volley the back. Because this is yeah. awful. How'd you like hitting your shitter? Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Are you ready for this, yeah, you sons right. of bitches? Would you I would kneel over you as you lay on your back, <laughs> running my dick over your lips and down your breasts, dripping all over your swollen pussy. Dripping? Dripping. 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 That means you're like a little boy. A little bit of, a little means bit of gonorrhea. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. She liked it. Oh, okay. I make a doctor's appointment for my yes. drippy member. <laughs> I would say it was good. I'm not a novelist. I'll it's squeeze my dark. cock over your face like a glue gun. <laughs> <laughs> and if you need me talking in the tub, just squeeze it against the. Well. The relationship continues. I know I'm not. No, the you intern know, and the porn star. This is it would make a great sitcom, I think. The rubbing it over the lips part was good, like kneeling over the face is yeah, dominant. Yeah, that sort of thing. But then trailing it down the breast, it's awkward because you're on your knees and you got to kind of scooch down on your yeah, knees. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> right, you're yeah. on a dolly? <laughs> like, how do you do that? Yeah, your phone sex isn't that accurate. <laughs> you're yes. on your knees backwards going, <laughs> yeah. uh, right. I'll put it in your All mouth. Right. And... <laughs> it's like a Kubrick shot <laughs> just coming down the long hallway. Dollying hallway's. back as the background gets blurry. Yeah, we're gonna do a push in. That's right. You, I'll put it in your mouth and then have your toes in my asshole at the same time. And we'll roll down a hill, dirty girl. Uh, Chris, what's going on? I got a cliffhanger for you. Uh, yeah, All we right. need a cliffhanger so the people that are on the fence, not sure if they're gonna continue with the show, they need something to, yeah. to uh, you know, send them over the edge and, uh, and they'll continue listening on Monday. Yes. Yeah, send Noah to an AIDS test today and give the results on Monday. Oh, Ooh. Noah's AIDS test. Well, now. Uh, the chick is getting uh, an AIDS test. Yeah, that's my test too. Yeah, that's that would pretty much be his test. All right, can we get that uh, those results? I'll tell you, I don't care. I'm well, sure I mean, she's gonna you know. let you know. Well, you'll know on the next text message if she starts to say like, "I can't wait to suck your cock in the hospital." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's fine, dude. Yeah, it's not a like cliffhanger. She's AIDS. Yeah, like, well, I want to come you, visit you again you know, before you lose too much the, weight. You know, the, the cliffhanger here is if I'm ever going to get laid by a real girl again. This is every guy's fantasy, but it surprisingly doesn't play well with the, the ladies. Oh. Who cares? Because they're intimidated. They know they can't do what a porn girl does. Regular girls. No, can't my, I live that. with two girls. They're my roommates. So why is he... Of oh, course, what do you expect? Two wait a minute. You brought the porn star back to the. Oh wow! Wait a minute. I want to hear what Jack Tripper has to say here. Yeah, exactly. You live with two girls. And how old are they? They're my age. Nothing sexual. Really are they about attractive? Them. I grew up with them. But what so were what? they saying when they saw the porn star walking around? Oh, they did. Oh, well, they heard it. <laughs> they heard the 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 events and the action. I introduced her to you know some of my friends. My one friend was sick, and we just ruined her whole day. She's trying to nap. Never happened. All of your friends are girls, by the way. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying like that's all I'm hearing. No, right, so you guys two, are just banging and not uh, being quiet at all. Yeah, I got calls from my downstairs neighbors that were like, you know, who are those? You guys? know what? I guess Damn. if you're gonna bring a porn star home, I think you want the whole neighborhood Do to the know. Whole show, right? She's a screamer. They're gonna the look Chinese at you. They're gonna look at you a lot really? differently when you're yeah doing your laundry in the neighborhood or picking up right. your Chinese food. Yeah, with respect from you guys, nice. not from the ladies. They don't like it. Because, again, it, that, that's everything that they're not. A little threatened. Women try to be sexy, but, you know, a porn star is sexy. Women in general try to do that, and they and the, to be measured against that, they can't hold up. Text message. As you take out the garbage <laughs> bag and put it in the trash, that's like their sexy line. As you yeah. wash the car and go <laughs> yeah. shopping. Yeah. Oh. I'll wear a little house coat and flip-flops for you. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. Groovy, this is your setup. Yeah. I would go for Joyce to win. Really? I got nothing. Nothing. 
right. Crazy, 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 crazy,
All right, guys. Appreciate it. All right. How do you handle it, Jim? <laughs> I just don't tell anybody anything. Hey, look, I didn't put a gun to your head. I might as well have. <laughs> so she sort of told you without telling you? Yeah, that's what I figure. He's saying that he kind of like, she backdoored it by saying, I'm going on a shoot. Uh-huh. And, yeah, um, that should be enough to let absolutely. everybody Since involved know. No HIV ever in the porn industry uh, six oh. months ago. Oh. I mean, you know, it's uh, probably fine. You're not going to get probably. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. You're not going to get a girl. You're probably. fine. Good. All right, we'll play this for Noah today. Everyone has AIDS. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. We've never sent cars for anybody. I, that's that's not true. We sent that fabulous limo service by Anthony there that would never show up. Remember his limo oh, service? Yeah, yeah, a I limo that, ant. Like I said, we uh, never sent the car yeah. for anybody. <laughs> I walked by Town Hall, my glorious night. Remember Town Hall back a couple years ago? It was a sold out show. You guys supported April me. 19th? April 18th. They hacked. And it was a fantastic, one of the best shows ever. And I'm waiting for, had my parents. I said, this was uh, the official limo company of the Opie and Anthony program back yeah, in the day. That's how good we were with getting cars. Yeah. And my parents took a train in to see the show. So I'm like, I'm going to get them a limo back. And this was uh, st- when you were just starting to really take it to the next level. I mean, it was a huge sold out show. It was a really big deal. 1,400 people. I can't get two spots at the cellar on New Year's Eve this year. Only one. But I saw a town oh. hall. You invited uh, yeah, the whole family and they took a train in. And then what happened? Well, um, at the end, I said, I'm going to get them a limo back. And Anthony originally tells me, well, I can't copy. That's only for Opie and Anthony. And I'm like, all right. you well, know, I, well, I told you guys this back then. And you're like, you know what? We'll just shred them on the radio. Yeah. And somebody called him. He's like, oh, I'm sorry about that he's like yeah we'll, we'll get you a car i'm like i'll tip the guy he's like you just tip him like i know i'm not i know social etiquette yeah and we stood outside for an hour waiting for the car his was, big night and 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 after the show he's waiting for the limo with his parents probably even bragging hey mom and dad yeah. special night i got you something a little special oh man your limo should be uh pulling up any moment now hour later everyone is gone i'm still hanging with norton and and he's just livid and his parents are just Kind of wonder what the hell is going on. All embarrassed for their son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tried to be Mr. Big Hollywood, and it's still little fat tits, isn't it? <laughs> it's still suburban fat tits. <laughs> Jimmy, maybe if one limo doesn't show up, you could get us another one. You know, replace it with a limo that actually shows up. <laughs> Dr. Phil's limo shows up, I bet. John from Texas, what's yeah, up? Yeah, boy, that one is short. Uh, Jim Norton, get the fuck off the air. Why? It's the Opie and Anthony show, not the Opie, Anthony, and Jim show. Uh oh, is this the wacky caller again? Jesus Christ. Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Oh, Bob well, Ah Booey. Hold on. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. You have more airtime if you'd like. Go ahead. Yeah, fuck you, Norton. Wow, that's good. Get off the air. That's the best you have. Wow. We're giving you free. You're loving freak. Wow. Don't be so biting. Go ahead. Your turn. Probably got hepatitis and everything else. <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, oh my! And, and, Ooh, boy, Baba boy. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> wow! Welcome to 1989. Where'd he go? Did he, he hang up? Yeah, he hung up. Oh, oh but he was he's doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Alice. <laughs> yeah, you sure Alice. Do. <laughs> She's the best friend I could ever have. <laughs> he said the name of another radio <laughs> show. Oh my God! Oh, Go pick no. up that. Uh... Maybe we should take a break. Well, hopefully that guy won't call Why back. Why is everyone coming in here? Prince Albert in a can. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna oh. be like the old. This is gonna be. We're all looking forward oh, cool, to this. Let's go get a picture with the girls real quick. Before they could oh, be <laughs> very nice. I'm not drawing any conclusions Absolutely until I not. have them in here and we speak with the lovely ladies. As we go to a quick break here, uh, we got the, uh, Jim Norton's mom's phone call. How's the whoring, by the way? Oh yeah, how you doing? Um, I've been better. I've, I've made a couple of little slips. Or face first, little falls, but uh, Oof. I'm doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been doing much better actually with that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to buy a place, man. I'm being careful with my money. I, I can't be so foolhardy, as they say. Foolhardy yeah. with your account. foolhardy. Okay. Penny wise, dollar foolish. Right. Penny saved his about. Uh, uh, oh, 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 don't oh, even boy. try now. <laughs> uh, good. I'm glad you can't find that awful I clip. <laughs> Penny wise, my ball. Boom. <laughs> As we hit the break, it's Jim Norton's uh, the mom <laughs> leaving a message on his machine about him and and uh, ladies of the evening. Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up 
you know, the ladies of the evening, um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better, use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go. You could exercise and uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight, you'd tone up, and you relieve, you know, tension and stuff, and you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So uh, don't get offended or think I'm strange, but I am a mother, and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the... You know, the health thing. It would help It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. By the way, I have to interject. Yes. yes that we do have to say, we, we are saying goodbye to somebody today. Who? Oh. Which we can't forget to say goodbye. Who? That's true. Who? The young strapping buck. Who? 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 We're losing an intern. Oh, Noah's going? Yeah. We're yeah, losing an intern. Two interns, actually. Yeah. Who's the other one? Mike. Oh, no. He was never really here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, he was a nice guy, Ouch. Mike. We didn't get to hang with him that much, but he was a nice guy. He did a nice job. He was very quiet. Yeah, quiet. <laughs> he, was a, he was a quiet fellow. He didn't get to bang a porn star like, uh, yeah. like our intern Noah here. Noah had here. sex with a porn star? We'll always have that. You'll always have that to take away from this program. <laughs> we will be talking about that for years to come. Great. I just found out today you're leaving. What are you? Why are you leaving? I'm broke. I have no money, and I can't really afford to do this anymore. I got another job somewhere, so I got to pretty much make that my priority. Okay. Yeah. You want to you know, you mean, promote a, your new job? Uh, Not really. I've been over there for a while. I'm a producer for another radio show in New York. Cool. Oh. Yeah. It's not on, not on 57th Street, is it? <laughs> no. no it's not, it's boy Noah? Somewhere else. Somewhere else. <laughs> no, no, Noah. No, no, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still in touch with uh, the porn star? Yeah, she's I forgot her name, actually. Uh, Candy. Candy, and she, right. I think she's coming into New York at the end of the month. She wants to do the show again. But oh, she was supposed to get in touch with you And guys. you won't be around. Hmm. Yeah. Jim, you might have a shot uh, this Jimmy time. Shot. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can get it for two fifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a whole new batch of interns coming in. We have. to look out. Would you mind if she banged another intern? Not really. That would so hurt still see each other. Yeah, Danny's, Danny's got thumbs up in there. Ha. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We gave Danny a shot in here, allegedly, and we saw what happened. Allegedly? Yeah, yeah. allegedly. Old baby pinky dick. Uh, <laughs> allegedly on, on the show that allegedly never, never happened. Never happened. happened. Never happened. So you're yeah, sad got... you're going to be leaving the program? I'm I'm really sad. I had a great time. Well, you yeah. come back and say hi anytime you want. Anytime. And you It'd won't have great. to get coffee. You can just come in and say hi, hang out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We cool. say that, but does it ever happen? Do people ever come back and say hello? No. They don't. Mm -mm. Yeah, so do. this is... Pretty much goodbye. Well, yeah. Farewells yeah. are never, you know, or see ya mm -hmm. kind of things. Do you have anything you might want to say to the audience? Hulk music? Oh, well, 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 yeah, Hulk music would be very of appropriate, of course. Uh, Although we're not Noah. booting Noah. He's leaving because he has Well, this is his, uh, his goodbye, officially. Thanks. He might come back as a guest, you know. Yeah. But this is it. Noah? Thanks, guys, for the opportunity to be here. I had a, I had a really great time. I learned a lot about radio and what you guys do and... I'll never really forget it. You learned a lot about porn stars, too. Porn stars, yeah. the ins and outs of porn stars. Very Apples good. and the advantage to a crispier one. <laughs> oh, true, true. You don't get mealy apples. apples. He was don't the mealy, get coffee unless He was the one Starbucks. that brought in the mealy uh, apple? Everyone has been guilty of that, except for young Danny. I don't know where he goes, and he won't tell anyone. Oh, <laughs> really? He's trying to keep that as his yeah, he's plus. A crispy apple boy. Of course. He's good at it. Probably brings it from home, little douche. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Should I give him uh, your mom's box? Oh, very good. Your last words should be your mom's box. So as you walk out that door, Noah, uh, let us have Oh, he has taken the headphones off. A fine intern and a good guy. All right. Your mom's box. Your mom's box. There as it he is. walks away. There he goes. Just walk away. Just walk away. There he goes. <laughs> oh, God, you nailed him with that one, too. Jimmy totally got him. He was hoping and wanting, like, like there was one more thing we needed from him, and you just nailed him. Very good, Jimmy. We got new interns? Yeah. That, uh, the yeah. Band? Yeah.
I'm sorry to see Frank's going to be going. All right. Well, we? uh, no. 